Hello everyone and welcome back to the beginning. We have another compilation today as I am really busy pre-filming for all of my holidays that I have in December and January. It's a little bit crazy but today we are here with a compilation of episodes 21 through till 30. That's actually a lie because we skip 21 and go to 22 because 21 is just me doing some Halloween quests and it doesn't really relate to the storyline so I decided to just remove it. But if you want to watch the Halloween quests then the Halloween quest is still in the back to the beginning playlist. These compilations are just edited so that the, I edit out the intro and the outro so that you can watch all of the episodes in a more seamless way than watching through the playlist. Just also a quick reminder before we get started that if you are looking to make a new Star Stable account then you can use my link which is in the description. It is obviously at no cost to you guys but it does actually financially help me. I am an affiliate with Star Stable. This compilation also has one of my favorite Christmas intros that I did. The Christmas outro was also really fun but the Christmas outro isn't in this video. And we are starting to get a bit of better quality in the Back to the Beginning series. So let's get let, let's get into this. I'm pretty sure we don't have any main quest today so we just have to continue with some side quests. So all right so let's just get started with the quest. I think we're gonna head to Fort Pinta to do some sort of questing over there. I think we still have like maybe like the racing quest that we should do over there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it does actually look like we've got a quite a few quests over here. A lot of them are probably just quick little quests. Also, if you guys didn't see yesterday's update video, then you, um, what are they called? New Yorvik Wild Horses came out, so if you want to see them, then go check out that video. But let's uh, talk with the horse. If you cannot settle your fines, the girl Cinder will be forced to work at the Minister of Tourism's pleasure until the debt is paid. Alright, why do we get 500 Yorvik shillings from this? Okay. This all seems very suspicious. I need to find where James went off to. Um, okay. Is it bad that I remember where he went off to, so I'm just going to ride over there? That's so funny. Okay. Whoops, I am a great horse rider. Perfect horse rider. A uh, my memory served me good. Wow, <laughs> what are you doing here? I know you're scamming in Ferdinand. The jig is up for your scam, Cloud Mill. Let's just be like straight and honest with him. Scam? That's a bit extreme, don't you think? He pays me to exercise his horses. Tourists pay f <laughs> pay me for a chance to ride them. Everyone wins. Now, shouldn't you be listening to Mayor Peanut? You do not want to get on his bad side. Mayor Peanut is just you speaking into a walkie-talkie. There is no such thing as talking horses. Let's just like be straight up with it. <laughs> what? That's crazy. He's a talking pony. It's true. Ask all the people who voted for him. Then why are you holding a walkie-talkie? So I can tell all the voters about that walkie-talkie? Let's do that one. Okay, you're right. Please don't tell anyone. It's all I have. It started out so innocently. I put a walkie-talkie and a cute top hat on a pony and Peanut the talking pony was born. I'd hide in the bushes while Peanut would talk to tourists. It was a huge success. Everyone loved Peanut. So when Fort Pinter held elections, I figured why not run Peanut for the mayor? I could make a mint selling Vote Peanut shirt t-shirts. It was all a joke. I didn't think he'd actually win. So when he did win, there was only one thing left for me to do. Tell the truth, admit that you cheated them. Tell the truth and give up all that power? Are you crazy? I couldn't let them know he's just a regular pony. I had the newly elected Mayor Peanut appoint me as Minister of Tourism. That way I could run things while Peanut lounged around the stables eating hay or whatever. Let Cinder off the hook, she just loves horses. If you want your secret kept, you better forgive Cinder's fines. Let's do that one. Okay, okay, if you promise not to tell anyone the truth about Mayor Peanut, I'll make things right for her. You have my word. Alright, so that means like Mayor Peanut must be like a big deal for him. Cindra. Please, Mayor Peanut, what have I done to offend you this time? Right, Cindra, I have misjudged you. I see now that your heart is pure and that you love horses more than anyone else in Jorvik. It's true, I do. Silence. Because of your true heart, I am pointing you Minister of Horses. From this day forth, you will manage the stables in Fort Pinter and administer the local races. It will be an honour, Mayor Peanut. Minister of Horses? Imagine that. Just wait till the girls back home hear about this. So technically, she still has fees to pay? So I trust everyone's happy now? 
Sorry about the misunderstanding. I see you're more clever than the typical tourist. Let's stay in touch, Cassandra. I have a feeling we're gonna we're going to make a lot of shillings together. Of course you say that. Okay, let's continue talking with James, maybe. Horses and hype. Horses are big business in Fort Pinta. With Sindra here to lend a hand, it's time to expand into new equestrian activities. I'm talking about a proper race. A race that shows off all the beautiful sights this tourist hotspot has to offer. A race that will draw huge crowds to buy my modestly priced t-shirts. I'm calling my race the Fort Pinta Scenic Circuit. It's the best way to experience all that Fort Pinta has to offer. The race course is ready to go. Now we just need to build up some hype to put us on the map. Here's a stack of posters fresh from the printer. I could use your help in hanging them up around the town square. Let's create some hype. Okay, let's do that. Have fun. Um, one poster. Two posters. Oh, that's a fun picture. Actually, I really like the posters. Three posters. Four posters and five posters. I think that's everything done. Yep, it is. The posters look great. Soon we'll have riders lining up to try my new race. Okay, so I guess that's not actually a race with him, but I think there's a race with Syndra. So let's kind of continue the storyline with Syndra. Introducing the Fort Pinter Scenic Circuit. Why can I already do the daily training when I haven't done it yet? But that's okay. The posters are in place. Hashtag Vegay Reggae is trending. The Fort Pinter Scenic Circuit is going to be huge. Now all I need is for an influencer to give the race a try and start spreading the word. My sister has some friends who are a pretty big deal in the competition scene, but she's not returning my messages. Hmm. I suppose I could go with a different approach. Cassandra, the new face of racing in Jorvik. A real in you in gen in you. <laughs> I love it. Just try to look cool so I can get some good footage of for my streams. That means no nooping around and running into walls. Great eye. Are you two ready? I'm ready. And I'm a f and f I'm an influencer. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what? Oh my god. How? How could I do that? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. <laughs> we got some skill up in here. Hey, we got a silver though. How talented is that? This race is lit, am I right? I caught some great footage of you and Grey Eye to post on Mayor Peanut's feed. If you want to try the track again for a high school, I put up a race board over there. And if you're looking to train your horse, talk to Syndra. And I'm sure she can squeeze you in for daily training sesh. Aren't you, Syndra? She's talking in third person now. Oh, I bet riders would pay good money to train on a track like this. He he he. She's turning into James. Oh my gosh. Unless they like copied and pasted that line from James and when they... Because James used to be the commander of the race. So when they copied and pasted like everything to Syndra, maybe they forgot to get rid of that. But let's talk to James. I think we're doing tokens. Yeah, okay. A memory card. You know what, there's one thing I'd like to do besides taking care of the stables. You might think it's silly, but I totally love postcards and would like to make my own. Besides, that would be another good way of getting some money out of these people taking over my riding tracks. James, are you kidding me? I want to take some nice photographs and turn them into postcards, but the thing is, I lost the memory card for my digital camera and every time I make my way to the store, it's closed. I already ordered a card online and paid for it. It only needs to be picked up. Do you think that you could do that for me? Oh my gosh, James, can you not walk like two meters down the road? Why is someone hiding behind a tree? Oh my gosh, was that so hard, James? Really? <laughs> Do I have to do everything for you? Finally, you have my memory card. Thanks. All right, picture yourself here or the travels of Token. I think we'll do Token at the end. I mean, we're not going to finish Token today because if you guys don't know, you have to ride like all over Jorvik getting pictures of Token, the animal um, plushy thing. The posters are a great start, but if we really want to make Fort Pinter a must-visit racing destination, we need to spread the narrative with sweet snaps and a catchy hashtag. Don't worry about the reach, we'll use Mayor Pina's account. He has more followers than any other politician in Jorvik and has the third most followers of any horse. 
Now I just need, who has like the other two spots then? I want to know. Now I just need some pics to post that capture that unique Fort Pinter aesthetic. I've been trying, but none of my pictures feel right. They're too extra, like I'm trying too hard, you know? Maybe it's because you are. <laughs> How about I loan you my camera and you can take some pictures. With your freshness, we'll get some totally authentic pics to promote for Pinter and the race. You help out, right? Great. Okay, I guess I am. Oh man, there's so many pictures to take. Alright. Oh, look at us in Fort Pinter. Hashtag selfie. Let's put my balloon away. Okay, so there isn't anything down here. I don't know why I'm going down here. This pony can jump so high, like, it's incredible. Ooh, it's outside of the four pinter walls. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a very close up of our horse. You're welcome, James. You know, I'm not too sure that we were the good choice to take pictures anymore. Will Alonzo get to be in the picture? Oh, he's not. Okay. <laughs> all done, all done, all done. Let's ride back to James. I was like, let's go for pickup. My my home stable's not Moorland. I mean, my home stable's Moorland, not Fort Pinter. Wow, okay, my brain. Oh my. If we survived, we survived. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some people have been like, you're leveling up so slowly. And like... It's kind of true because I'm still level 10 and it's been like that for, you know, a few months maybe. No, just like a few weeks. But you see, the thing is that I play the game for about half an hour a week. Whereas you guys who are leveling up super quickly are probably playing for like two hours a day, um, seven days a week. So yeah, I'm just not, I don't play as much as you guys because I've got a main account to play on and make videos. So... I'm not always questioning on this account. These are going to get so many likes. You totally captured the four printer aesthetic. I bet I could even turn these into postcards. Yes, postcards, vintage. Why didn't I think of that before? Thanks, Cassandra. You just gave me a new revenue stream. Well, if I took the pictures, then can I get some of it? <laughs> Mayor Hall. Hi, Cassandra. Why am I saying? <sighs> Almost all of the clothes I have in stock to sell to the tourists here are sold out. I guess it's a pretty nice problem to have since it means I've already sold lots of stuff, but it's still a problem. Before now, I've always been able to order new clothes and have them delivered from Yorvik City, but lately it's not been going very well. All the packages of clothes seem to be getting lost, like by the roadside and so on. Which means I don't end up with anything to sell. I should really head over to your Vic City Mall and pick up some new stock. But who'd be here taking care of all the tourists if I went there? Yeah, you you heard right. The mall. Your Vic's top shopping destination. Hey, maybe you could help me out and pick up my packages from the security guard at the mall. There's only one small catch. They don't let horses into your Vic City. I know, right? Maya missed the oppor <laughs> Maya missed opportunity. Oh, major. Oh my god, I can't read. Major missed opportunity. Think you could give a grey eye a break and head to the Yorvik City Mall for me? <gasps> but I'm so attached to my horse. Jay, you go amazing. Thanks, Cassandra. You could probably also pick up the horse gear I've ordered as well, you know, while you're there. How do you get to the Yorvik City Mall? It's easy. All you have to do is take the bus. There's even a bus stop right here in Fort Pinter. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got a bus to catch. I'm kind of sad, like I miss the bus tickets and I also miss the bus actually driving past. I wish that maybe there was still like a bus that sat here all the time so that it looked like a bus stop instead of just, you know, a stick. I think that would have been fun when they got rid of the buses, but yeah. Oh right, I like to click it because it dismounts me for me and I'm just lazy. Your Vix anymore. Oh, it's weird not having the other things unlocked. I swear I never go to Yorvik City Mall. Oh, the music. Well, well, what can I do for you then? You're picking up stuff for James in Fort Pinter, you say? Heh, well, you're certainly not the first victim he's sent to do his work for him. All because he's too stingy to buy his own bus ticket, so he sends other people here to run his errands. Who do you think has to take care of all these little lost sheep he sends here? Exactly, it's me. But now I've had enough. I can't be bothered to help you, as well as all the others. You'll have to look after yourself. 
<sighs> okay, since you are so nicely, you can help me with something in return though first. You'll be happy to help me, you say? Well, that's great. Maybe you're not so useless as all the other pushovers James sends. As you can see, the floor here is completely spotless. Not a bad job if I do say so myself. Sadly, people just walk all over it any, <laughs> any which way they please, but we're going to put a stop to that. They act like they own the place. They never show any respect for my hard work. Pfft. Here, place these warning signs around where I've just mopped and maybe the floor will be able to stand up to their filth for at least a little while. Go on, get out of here. Put the signs up and don't come back before it's done. Jeez, commanding much. Okay. Right, I struggle to get it out of my inventory. Okay. Don't we just love having cleaning signs up everywhere? I think you should have put these up earlier, sir, because like... There was like, I could have slipped on that because I didn't see wet floor tiles, but okay. Do these, are these always up and I just never noticed them? No, they are not always up, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not so dumb. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Hmm, did you think you were finished? <laughs> no, I knew you'd think you were finished. You're a total lazy bone, just like everyone else who visits the mall. Oh, <gasps> that was mean. You're not a lazy bone, you say? Okay, well, let's see about that. You can have a chance to prove you're not a sleepy little slacker like all the other spoiled little princesses wandering around like they own the place, leaving all their trash behind them. Rude is what they are, rude and vile. When I tell the boss about it all, I... <laughs> when I tell the boss about it, all I hear is, you should smile at the customers. But if it was up to me, I'd keep all of them out of the mall. And then there'd finally be a bit of order around here. Oh well, until the day comes, somebody's gonna have to pick up all that trash. They flow, at flow they throw everywhere, and today, that somebody isn't going to be me. Ha! Huh. Pick up all the trash you can find lying around the place, and then maybe I'll help you. Go on, get moving. Scram. Jeez, I thought this guy was friendly. Like, doesn't he have, like, a flower in his shirt? You'd expect him to be somewhat friendly, but he's not friendly at all. I wonder if the mall will ever be updated and we get, like, the next floor of shops. I'd really love to see some different shops around. Because I know that there's, like, a general, like, clothing store. But I think it would be really cool if they separated it out into, like, fancy and not fancy maybe like writing clothes and not writing clothes in a way i'm not sure it would just be really fun to see this mall filled out a bit more that's just my opinion though good you've done a really nice job okay you seem a little better bred than some of the other nitwits that hang around here at the mall i'll help you well, you surely know that you surely know how James works. Last time he was here, he tried to get me to buy into joint ownership of an apartment in one of the towers of Fort Pinto. It wasn't even built and didn't even have planning permission, but he still tried to get me to put down a deposit that was enough money to have bought half of Vaildale. I seem to be I seem to remember letting him know exactly what I thought of him at the time. I've never seen anyone run so fast. He must have run all the way back to Fort Pinto faster than a bolted horse. Since then, he's never dared show his face around here again which is probably why that wretched little rat sent you instead oh well james ordered clothes from gordon at the clothing store over there talk to gordon he's a friendly sort and can probably do something for you come back to me with the clothing delivery once you've got it no point carrying around a huge heavy pile of clothes while you're here i'll look after them until you're ready to ride back to james okay so James has sent you to pick up the horse equipment he ordered. Right, he must have ordered it from Alex. She's the owner of the horse equipment store here in York City Mall. Go talk to her and then come back. I can't remember where I'm... Okay. And then come back once you've got the delivery. I'll keep my eye on it for you until you're ready to go back to James with it. If you leave it with me. Why did that not make sense to my brain? No point wandering around with a bunch of heavy stuff. Okay, let's go talk to people. Ooh, this music, okay. Hello, welcome to the Jorvik City Mall clothing store, the biggest clothing store in all of Jorvik. If you wanna try on some of our fabulous outfits, all you need to do is go into the fitting room over there and check out our collections. Clothing delivery to James. Oh right, I thought you wanted to buy something. I mean, James wants to buy something. Oh well. Oops. Now, let's see. Exactly, James's order. I have it in the stockroom. Wait a second and I'll grab it for you. Ah, I lock the door to the stockroom every evening. I always have the keys in my backpack since I'm forever losing little things like keys and coins. So the backpack helps me remember where everything is. Hold on, I'll just grab it. 
Hmm, he's lost it, hasn't it? Yeah, where's my backpack? No, I must have left it somewhere. Oh no, this seems... This means I can't get into the stockroom. Would you be able to help me? My backpack must be around here somewhere. Could you take a look around the mall and see if you can find it? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. What is it with people in this island and forgetting things? Alright, we found his backpack. I think it's over here. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this quest because I'm running out of time and space on my computer like always. Amazing, you found my backpack. Haha, <laughs> you never guess what happened while you were away. I'd forgotten to lock the door to the stockroom so I didn't need the key in the backpack in the end. Ugh. It's really nice of you to help me though. You're welcome. Seems like forgetting the lock to the stockroom was pretty lucky in the end. I found time to pick out the items on James's order while you were out looking for my backpack. Here. Here, who was supposed to get the order again? James, of course, that's how it was. Hmm, are you sure you don't need to go to the mall janitor first? Everyone else who s James sends seems to go to him, and I can understand why. This order must weigh half a ton. You won't want to wander around with all that extra weight if you don't need to. Why do Why do they t keep telling me that? Like, I don't, I don't care. Welcome to Jorvik's biggest horse equipment store. How can I help you? Equipment for James. Oh, you're here to pick up his order. That's a shame. What? I thought I'd do James a favor, so I sent his delivery off on its way. It was only a couple of minutes ago that I sent it, so you're lucky. You don't look happy. You won't have to carry it around. You won't have to carry it anymore. Cheer up. Haha, <laughs> you're strange. Why do you want to do loads of work if you can get away with not doing it? You promised him you say? Okay, okay. If you hurry, you might catch up with JB before he sets off from the mall. Who's JB? He's the driver who takes all the deliveries to Silverglade. He usually stops for a cup of coffee before he gets out on the road in his truck. Hurry over to the cafe and you might just catch him. See you. Okay, well, this is fun. Stop. Hold it one second. Back up, back up. Let JB drink his coffee in peace before he goes back to putting his life on the line out on the roads of Jorvik. Shh. Okay. Hmm, this isn't coffee. This is tea. Everyone just calm down. JB is here. Just take it easy. You know what old JB would say when this kind of thing happens? What? You don't know who JB is? I'm JB. What's your name? Cassandra? Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. I've got a job for you. Get me some coffee with milk. Don't forget the milk. Jeez, okay, okay, okay. Why do I always have to spend my money? Black coffee, coffee with milk. I'm ready. Time to get out into the open road again. Keep the home fires burning, and if I'm not back by sunrise, call the councilman. What now? A delivery for James, you ask? Of course, it's right here beside me. You can trust old JB. My deliveries always get where they're going, door to door. Last month, I managed to drive off the bridge to Fort Pinter three times. Three. That's a new record. You can tell James that JB's on his way. You'll take the order to James, you say? Oh, okay. Less work for me, I suppose. Take it. Alright. Pick up the delivery and take it to the janitor. What if I don't want to go to the janitor? Like, I'm an independent woman. Hello again. So, you got James's clothes order? It's quite heavy, right? Thought so. His orders usually are. I'll look after everything here while you get the rest of James's stuff I already have. <laughs> I'm prepared. Looks like you got the horse equipment James orders. I'll keep an eye on it until you're ready to head back to Fort Pint. I'm already ready to head back. And so there we go. Now you've got both of the deliveries James wanted. Come back to the mall tomorrow if you want, but wipe your feet on the way in. I don't want more dirty feet trampling over my nice clean floors. I hope you get something from James for all the trouble you've gone to. Not likely, but no, you've got yourself a bus ticket. You'll be able to come back. But now, sorry, now you've got a bus ticket. You'll be able to come back here whenever you like. See you soon. All right. Oh, okay. We do get a shirt. We get a pink shirt. Hey Cassandra, how did it go? Wonderful, both clothes and horse equipment. These are going to sell like hotcakes. Reward? I promise you a reward? Hmm, seems like you remembered wrong. Okay, okay, you can have something. Hold on, let me see what I've got in this box. Here, isn't this a nice present? You'll like it. Now you'll have to excuse me, I've got business to attend to and that is the end of Back to the Beginning. I don't even know what number this is. This is the shirt that we got. 
I actually don't mind this shirt. I think it's kind of nice, but we just did some chilling in Fort Pinter doing some little quests. Okay, so apparently we've got a quest actually down here by Mrs. Holdsworth or something, so we'll start by doing that. If you haven't seen this series before, then I have got an entire playlist on it. It's just where I play the game and I talk to you guys, like I read out the quests. I'm going to probably read most of the quests out, but if it's something repetitive or something... I maybe won't just because I want to shove as much into every episode as possible without making it too long and I feel like a lot of the time people don't like to hear me talking and reading the quests but anyways your green dye is ready I have to say it turned out very well you picked some really fine leaves and the olive oil was the final touch the color really shines okay so this is about the making a shirt for the tailor or something I think so uh, we've got a few quests around Silverglade anyways, so I guess we'll head over to Silverglade. I'm actually kind of excited because I'm still riding the wave of revamped Silverglade hype, so I'm excited to do some quests around Silverglade. I'm also kind of excited to do the quests around Silverglade just to see if any of them are broken so that I can give some feedback to Star Stable so they can do it as quickly as they can. They can fix it. Now we just have to, you know, remember where the tailor is as well. Here he is over here with his cool little shack thing. I love his house. Super cute. I'm not too sure why I just dismounted just then. How many star coins do I have? 559. Okay. Oh, thank you, Cassandra. What a beautiful green color. Now we only need one more color. Then I can start making your waistcoat. What I need is a special hue of purple, and I've heard that the Baroness herself has started using purple grapes to dye the fabric of her beautiful dresses. It's only a rumor, but I think you should ride over to, ride over to the fit, fit... Sorry, I can't speak sometimes or a lot of the time. Um... I think you should ride over to the vineyard and ask her. I can mix red and blue, but I think your waistcoat deserves a perfect purple hue. Daxton, you're too kind. Now, which direction is Silverglade Manor? Back here, okay. I'm so, like, disoriented with the new village. I'm like, I don't know where I am anymore. Oh my gosh, wait, Marley has a quest for me. Do you think Marley has a quest to, like, start doing a race? We should totally do that. I'm, like, kind of... I'm not sure if I should go and do that now or we should do it later because I'm one to just get completely sidetracked and do a different quest. Is there less trees than here or something? I can't tell. And I feel like it'll be kind of messy if I start a different quest line whilst I'm already doing this Taylor quest line. But that's just kind of how I play Star Stable sometimes, you guys. Hi, Baroness. Uh, where did you hear that, young lady? The tailor? Yes, it's true. I thought she was mean. I mean, not mean. Angry. I don't... I don't know whether it's like a, where did you hear that, young lady? Or a, oh, where, where'd you hear that? Anyways, my grapes are so rich in pigment that if you do it the right way, you can get a really nice purple color, which I like to use myself. But I don't want everyone in Jorvik to know about this and then come here to take my valuable grapes so I keep it to myself. Well, now that you already know about it, I'll help you. But af after all, you've been so helpful around here. If you can help me with today's grape harvest, you can take some of them and make the dye. Pick grapes from the vin vine <laughs> vines to the right and left side of the vineyard. Do I have to dismount my horse? No, I do not. Perfect. These bushes look so nice. I like how I've only picked grapes from this side of the vineyard, like she said, from the left and right. And I was like, only doing one side, it's fine, right? Thank you, Cassandra. These grapes would be enough for the dye. If you come back tomorrow, I'll have it ready for you. How I make it will be my little secret. Okay, come back tomorrow, but like, it's, it's just the next day, you guys. There, Cassandra, the purple colour is ready now. It's as good as it can be when made from my grapes. I suggest you ride to the tailor and give him the dye. I'm sure he'll be impressed. And ask him not to tell anyone else that you can make dye from my grapes. Wouldn't... Isn't it, like, common knowledge that you could use grapes to make a purple dye? Like, is that not common knowledge? Something is going on with my star stable because for some reason this looks very different to what it usually does. I don't know what it usually looks like, but it looks very different right now. I think I'm going crazy. You know what? Let's see what Molly has to say. We're going to get a little bit sidetracked. 
We just decided to take a shortcut through Marley's farm and he just like stopped us. He was like, yo, you right there, you come over here. Hello, I'm Marley. I'm so happy that someone came by. You see, I have a few problems that, but maybe you can help out. So here's the thing. I ordered this fantastic paddock at jbay.com. Isn't it amazing? Anyways, it seems that you need all kinds of papers, documents, and permissions when you build something like this. Who would have known? So I wonder if you can ride over to the Silverglade Village and ask, uh, and ask? That's not an ask there. And talk to someone in the council and ask them to write out the papers I need. Without them, I don't dare continue building this wonderful track I have planned. Yes, I can do that. It's been so long that I like really did completely forget what you have to do to unlock Marley's races. Hey, sir, councilman. A new paddock, not my area of expertise, sorry. You need to see my colleague, Mr. Bucket. But unfortunately, he isn't here right now. Where's Mr. Bucket? If you really need these documents right now, I think it's best if you try to see Mr. Bucket at once. He's been away for a couple of days now trying to find evidence that the construction workers at the North Link are using illegal means to build the tunnel. Ride to the tunnel construction site at the North Link, north of the Everwind Fields, if you want to find him. I'm sure he will be standing somewhere high up to get a good view of what's going on follow the road going north from the village which way is north i don't know but we'll stop by the tailor first because i oh there's a wall there um my bad no one saw that oh the wall is still there i'm it's fine oh my gosh that's really cute they're doing a little photo shoot with the club so cute Cassandra, you're back. Oh, so it's true that she dyes her fabric with grapes. Such a beautiful colour. This will be great. I promise not to tell anyone else that you can make dye from her grapes. I have all the colours I need now. You've done excellent work. The colours are fantastic. I'll start making your waistcoat right now. It's ready now. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I love it. Here you are. Try it on. I really hope you'll like it. Thanks for all your help. Thank you so much, Daxton. It's really cute. I made a video a few months back where I actually made an outfit using this shirt. I don't remember if I liked it or not. Should we continue wearing it? I don't have any pink ribbons on me. Uh, I think we just wear the shirt that I was wearing before, but we might wear this shirt in the future. I'll show you guys a close-up look if you haven't had a real close-up look of it before. It's alright. It's pretty nice. I do like it. I think people do just struggle to make outfits with it, I think. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. Do you actually like that shirt or not? This is not the direction I want to go. Okay, wait. North Link is over this direction. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it when the church... Not. Why do I keep calling it the church? When the clock makes its tune. It's really pretty. I like it. I always have to stop. Shh, try to be quiet. Permission to build a paddock? Yes, well, that's not very important right now. I suspect that the workers down there are using GEDO gel, a very hazardous industrial adhesive, to seal the walls in the tunnel. I have an idea. If you can find proof that I'm right, I'll give you those documents right away. Now away you go. Look among the containers below the hill. I think they're hiding the packaging there. Mate. Isn't that like a little bit like blackmail or something? Oh my gosh. Well, I think I'm going to go without my horse because my horse will be... Okay, I'm going to take my horse. My horse is very like... Oh, hi. Yeah, I have a horse. Whereas I can like sneaky sneak, can't I? Honestly, I don't think they'll care, right? Like, do you have anything to say? You didn't stop me, so it's fine. So now I'm just going to search your containers. I'm just a lovely lady on a horse just doing a little trail ride you know poking around nothing too unusual here this is literally right in front of someone they're gonna have to see me and care won't they do they literally not care love that they they don't care and to think that i was gonna waste my time walking around and not just ride my horse uh, I knew it. Those crooks are using prohibited substances in order to build faster. If it leaks out, it will be it will contaminate everything around here for hundreds of years. 
but I'll teach them a lesson. You'll see. This would delay their construction by a day or two before their army of lawyers find new loopholes in the contract. Oh, here are the documents you needed. I had them done while you were away. Good job, by the way, if I didn't mention it earlier. Write carefully on your way back to Marley. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bucket. You turned out very kind. At first, I thought you were just using me for your own gain, but, like, you seem like an okay person. <laughs> Really, Cassandra? That was fast. Thanks a lot. But new stuff has come up. I have to think this over. Come back later so we can talk some more. A few minutes later, I guess? You'll never believe this. You need permission to organize competitions. Can you help me with this? Ride to the vineyard and see if you can find my brother, Carney. He's a licensed equestrian competition inspector and can help me with this. Ask him to come over right away and approve my paddock. Marley, why didn't you do your research before you started building a race and stuff? Like... Why am I now your minion? You meet me two seconds ago, and now I am your minion. I'm not complaining because you're giving me money, I guess, but... Man, why didn't you do your research? Oh yeah, I'm a licensed equestrian competition inspector. Molly said that I should ride on over in a previous paddock. Humph, that's no way to speak to your older brother. I'll come when I have time. Right now, I have to do some very important things. Oop, well, okay... So I don't think he has anything else to say. Can I go back to Marley? So I just rode here for like no reason. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, hi Cassandra. Thanks for inviting my brother. He came over after a while. Oh, okay. I thought it, I was going to have to like help him with his important work or something. I don't know. I need some more help if you have time. The bars I used were not approved, so I have ordered some new ones from James. He had some extra ones in stock, but they haven't arrived yet. So we have to ride over to James. Right, the bars. Unfortunately, there was an accident with the truck that was delivering them. It almost fell off the Fort Pinder Bridge. You're trying to fit a truck on that bridge? Oh my gosh, James. The truck made it and no one got hurt, thankfully. But your bars fell off the truck and down from the bridge. I think they're down there somewhere. I haven't had time to get them. There's a lot of tourists here. But if you want them, you can get them yourself. I must do everything myself. It's fine. Oh my gosh, the disco's on. I love the disco. Oh, that didn't work. Oh no, now we're doing a special move. Um, can my horse not walk anymore? There we go. I swear I know how to start a stable. Two. Can I grab that one? Oh, apparently I can't. Three and four is now up here. I literally cannot control this horse. Oh my gosh. Do I even star stable? Because I don't think I do. And the final bar. Of course we have to- Like, this horse is so slow. Can you just- Zappy, Zappy, please stop. Just be fast. Be a fast boy. Good work. Luckily, not all of them were damaged. Now we're ready, Cassandra. Right back to Marley with the bars. He'll be so happy to finally get them. Here's the receipt and done. Wow, James, that sounded somewhat professional. I thought you weren't professional. <laughs> Awesome, Cassandra. These bars are really nice. Strange, there are some scratches here and there. James said they were brand new, but never mind. Why don't we tell Marley that they dropped off a bridge? My brother carried out a very good inspection. The stopwatch I had wasn't good enough, so I ordered a new one. Right, so we have to go pick up a stopwatch from the post office in Silverglade. And the home phone in the background is going off, but I think it's too quiet for you guys to hear. Hi, my name is Derek, and I'm new here on Jorvik Island. Did you know that I once worked as a photographer and... Oh, you don't want to talk to me? You only want a package? A stopwatch? Hmm, let's see. No, that sounds so mean! Derek, I want to talk to you! Derek, oh, oh, blah, blah, blah. Also, some of you guys said that this picture was always there, and like... I just didn't know that. I'm really blind. Um, anyways, but I didn't even notice that there was wings on it when I first saw it. When I posted that video, you guys also said that before you save in, it says something different, so I want to read it now. There's a note on the photo dated three years ago, A plus C, the Angels of Fashion Week D. Those wings must have been added in Photoshop, right? So it is a different message. That's pretty cool. Back to the quest. Here it is, a brand new stopwatch. Miley will be super happy. Did I say my name is Derek and that I'm new here? What's your name? Oh my gosh, we're being so mean to Derek. Like, he's just trying to ask our name and, like, be friends or something. And we just ride away. I feel so mean right now, but I can't talk to him because there's not a quest line for it. 
Cassandra, fantastic, thank you. I have to install this one, and after that, you must test my new track. It's almost ready. I would love to. So what do you think, Cassandra? Quite an amazing little competition I've set up. Test it and tell me what you think. I would love to. Why do I only get 75 horse XP? Isn't that a bit of a ripoff? Like, I've been right running around for you, and you're just gonna give me 75 XP when this race is worth. Isn't this a 250 XP race after you've done this quest? It's funny how they don't give me 250 for doing the same thing, but in a quest. Usually, I feel like in a lot of the newer quests at least, if you do a race in a quest, they give you more XP and then they give you less XP when you actually do the daily race. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe that's only been for a few races that we've gotten. There you go. Well written, Cassandra. I think we're almost ready to open this track officially. Do you know what I just realized? I forgot to order goods for the store. There will be lots of customers now when the new track is open, so the items I have in stock will be gone in a flash. I'll order more stuff right away. Talk to me again when I'm done. Magically, he's done. <laughs> that went fast, huh? I've ordered clothes from Valedale and Horsky from Fergrove. The items are ordered but not delivered, and I don't want to wait another day. That's where you come in. I have to go find them. Ride to Valedale and get a box of clothes I've ordered. It'll be outside the clothing store in Valedale. Ready to be picked up. Thanks for helping me, Cassandra. You're a real pal. Take the opportunity to shop in Valedale and enter the competition by the Valedale Lake when you're in the neighborhood. Wow, little promo for them there. When it comes to horse gear, Fergrove is the place. Their craftsmanship is really something special. Ride to Fergrove and pick up the package I've ordered, okay? Great. Cassandra, I knew I could count on you. You can take the opportunity to race and shop in Fergrove if you want to. It's not that urgent. Why are they promoting racing in Vaildale and Fergrove? I guess it's because it's newer players, maybe? Unless I've just unlocked a race there, I'm not quite sure. But it might be to kind of encourage newer players on something that they can do instead of leaving them clueless. They can be like, hey, you can race in these locations as well, you know, like a little tutorial. Right, I can see the box of clothes. Uh, go ahead and collect that. It does not go on my horse's back. That's fine. It's fine. And let's go to Fergrove Village. I wasn't actually sure if I've unlocked it, but it turns out that I have. And here's some tech which we can collect. Time to head back to Marley's farm. I really wish there was a trailer there. Like Steve's farm's not that far away. Super fantastic. Soon we'll be open for real. Fantastic. I have more than enough horse kit in my store now. Guess what, Cassandra, we're almost done. It's taken a long time, but my paddock is finally ready to open. We only have one last thing to do. My brother has to come and make a final inspection of the paddock. Can you please ride to the vineyard and tell him thanks again, Cassandra? I couldn't have managed without you. Why can't you go tell your brother? Like, don't we have phones or something? Because James has texted me and I don't remember giving James my phone number. Do you want me to do another inspection? I hope you're ready as I won't give you any special treatment just because Marley's my brother. He should show me some respect. I'm his big brother. If I find even the tiniest problem with his paddock, I'll close it down for good. Oh my gosh, Carney is rude. Oh my gosh, that's so mean. I feel like they should have some sort of quest which takes you back to Marley's farm. Otherwise, I feel like people who don't know how to play Star Stable or, any or anything like that might be like, oh, is that the end of the quest line and like maybe not think to go back to Marley's farm? Cassandra, come check it out. What do you think? We're now officially open. My brother examined the whole paddock with a magnifying glass but couldn't find any problems. I want you to have the honor of writing the official inaugural lap in the paddock. Take Zappy and test the track. Good luck. You're the best. Oh my gosh, I get a hat. Oh my gosh, I love this hat. <gasps> I wear this all the time. I did not know it was a quest item. Okay, so I only get 75 horse XP, but he does give me 110 Yorvik shillings. I'm really good at Star Stable. And the race is complete. 1 minute 30 seconds. Not my best time. 
Splendid, splendid, Cassandra. You're really a great writer. Please, let me thank you again for all your help. I want you to have this gift as a reward. You've really earned it. Come back whenever you want and compete with Zappy. See you again soon. So I think he's probably going to talk to us now about setting up the Western race, maybe. But here is the helmet that we got today. It's super cute. I actually really like this helmet. I wore it a lot uh, before I got the helmet from governor's fall that everyone wears i don't know how else to describe it we could continue quest actually i want to double check if we have any main quests to do today why do i keep clicking on that button we do not have any main quests we only have side quests today you know what i feel like we haven't been to yarlaheim in a while and we do have some quests around there so i think we're gonna trail it to yarlaheim also, I just thought I'd let you guys know that before I started filming this video, I did, in fact, accidentally automatically log on to my other account. So I found that quite funny that I just went to the completely wrong account. And I was like, hmm, there's a lot of people on the server and it's very light for possibly 10 o'clock at night or something. And then I realized my mistake. All right, here we are. I think we've just got a few small little quests to complete in here, but like... We gotta grind the small quests to get to the main quest, so we might as well do them. Okay. Are you the one who's supposed to help me with my shop? Excellent. What's your name, by the way? Cassandra? Cool name. I'm Zed, and I'm the store manager of the new shop opening up in Yarlaheim. In my opinion, there's way too little rock and roll in these parts, so I thought I'd open up a shop with punk-inspired clothing. Wouldn't that be awesome? I have tons of marketing work to do prior to the opening and was hoping you could help me get the shop off the ground. Of course. Oh, cool. How nice of you to help me. Oh, of course. First, I'll show you where the store's going to be located. Come on, let me show you. Let's go. I already know where it is because I'm talented like that. What are you doing, Milo? I don't know what he's doing. Here we go. This is the spot where we're going to set up shop. It's going to be awesome, right? Let's roll. What is... Oh my gosh. Now that you know where the store is going to be, we need to get started on building it. I don't have any tools here, but I know Donald the Builder has plenty of tools we might need. Could you run over there and ask him nicely if he could borrow them? Off you go. Have a chat with the old man and let's see what he has to say. Yeah. Hi there, Cassandra. You want to borrow some of my tools? Sure you can. No problem. Let's see. You want to borrow a hammer and a crowbar? Oh no, I don't have those here at the moment. How do you not have a hammer and a crowbar, Donald? What the heck? Angus Goldspur has them. That lazy son of a gun should have returned them ages ago, but he's probably forgotten it or something. How are you surviving without a hammer? Like, isn't that important for your everyday work? I suggest you talk to Angus. He should be done using these tools anyway. Get over to the Goldspur estate and hear what he has to say. Give him my regards as well. I don't want him to think I forgot. Uh -huh, don't worry, I'm just yanking your chain. I think I lost track of that conversation because I don't remember what he said said and why someone's yanking my chain but let's just head to the gold spurs welcome back cassandra been a while since i saw you but what do you want this time to borrow donald the builder's tools i've almost forgotten about those lousy old thing of course you can borrow them as long as donald has agreed to it after all they are his and i don't need them anymore angus why didn't you just return them then now that you've got the tools you should continue whatever you were doing what was it again oh you're opening a new store exciting i think you should return to zed and tell him you've got the tools needed to assemble the store i find that really funny how angus is like oh yeah you should probably return to him then like i don't know that that sentence just seemed really weird for me, but like I understand that Star Stable is guiding players to go back to Zed. Good luck, go to Yalaheim and talk to Zed. I totally went the long way coming up here, but I was uh, texting, I was actually writing down a video idea on my phone. <laughs> People ask me where my video ideas come from. Sometimes I sit down and I'm like, okay, let's come up with video ideas. But most of the time they just come to me as I'm riding around, as I'm filming other videos. It used to happen when I was washing up at work all of the time. And just when I was doing stuff at work, I'd be like, that's a good video idea. But then I'd forget it by the end of the shift, which was really annoying. 
it comes to me when I'm sitting in class at school and I'm just writing everything down like write down all the bad ideas as well because stuff comes off one idea you have one idea then you have a bunch more anyways that's completely off topic for this video nice we're one step closer to being finished excellent let me just check that we have everything we need to start building no what Cassandra what a blunder my little noggin's not working properly at times I've lost the nails I had earlier clever huh I think I lost them when I carried home some tools for my dad I was simply carrying too many things oh well even i make blunders from time to time at least i know i've lost the nail somewhere in your lime have a look around and you'll probably find them if you didn't have tools what tools were you taking back to your father maybe they were just like different types of tools do you miss me at all do you think about the things we used to do no you couldn't stand tall so why didn't you why didn't you call so many years has gone by oh my gosh that was so much more painful than it should have been that was not oh i just on the way to my house like he walked around the entire yarlaheim there was probably an easy way to do that but oh my gosh <laughs> you found them awesome then we can finally start building it's about time now that we have everything prepared, it's time to get this thing built. I wish I could help you, but I'm terrible at these things. The only thing I'm good at these days is music. Everything you need it can be found in this heap. Just hammer everything together and I'm sure it will work fine. And you're only giving me $15 for that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a satisfying na name. I meant sound. I don't know what's going on in my head. Finished already? Clever girl. And fast too. This will be perfect. I think we'll get loads of fans. We have a few things left to do. I've ordered t-shirts for the store from our printer. For- wait for yeah from our printer daisy who's also my awesome girlfriend she is really good at fixing rad prints for clothing we're gonna have tons more stuff like this from her in the future i'm really lucky to have such a skilled girlfriend who can fix me up with stuff like this anyhow i haven't spoken to her all day and i'd like to know how the t-shirts are coming along if they're like finished and stuff go talk to her she'll be by the cafe at the docks below yalaheim let's hope she's done it already Hi girl, who are you? Oh, you're working with my sweet Zed? Cool. How's it going with the tops? It's going. They're almost done. The only problem is I don't have any ink left. This is how it is, Cassandra. I like need to get more ink. But you see, I've sprained my leg. Things can get pretty wild at rock concerts. But you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, that's that's kind of offensive. Oh well, anyhow, I've placed an order for ink and I think it's being delivered to the docks at Fort Pinter. Speak to the guy in charge of transport and he'll give them to you. I know it's a bit far, but we have ferries now. Why don't you catch a ride or one of those? They're pretty cool and the trip is so much faster. And Daisy is giving me $40 to just go to Fort Pinter and pick up some ink. And then Zed wouldn't give me, like he gave me $15 to assemble his entire store. That definitely makes sense. Oh my god, the disco. The disco's on. I feel like the disco is always on. Whenever I'm filming one of these videos, ah, uh, the disco's on. <laughs> Probably because I always film them at like the same time. Something tells me that James is like not gonna easily give us the ink we need or something. Like James is gonna either make us pay for it or tell us that something went wrong. Hi there, are you here for the ink I'm delivering to Daisy? Indeed I am, James. Uh, the ink is supposed to be one of the barrels on the pier below Fort Pinter. I've accidentally mixed them all together, so I can't tell which one contains your ink. But have a look around, I'm sure you'll find it. Thank you, James. For once you were, like, semi-helpful, but, like, you also mixed all of the packages around. So, it's, it's fine. Oh, I thought he, that was going to make us stop us, like, and we'd have to search through it, you know? Do I have to go back to James? That's so annoying. Why can't I just leave with the ink that I own? <laughs> you finally found the ink. Excellent. I'm sorry for the trouble. I'll keep better track of the barrels next time. Why does James seem somewhat organized? Oh my gosh. There you go. Everything's ready. Thank you for coming so quickly. It would have been boring to wait here all day. But that didn't happen. Return to Daisy and give her the ink. I think she needs it as quickly as possible. So long. Why do I feel like my image of James is completely different to the way he acts in some of the quests? Like, I'm so confused right now. That did not seem, seem like the James that I know. Now we just have to wait for the ferry again. 
Luckily, the next fairy to come happens to be the Yalaheim fairy, so that's very convenient for us. Why is there no sound? What happened? Note the sound again. Okay, I was truly scared that my headphones had broken. Oh nice, you got the ink. Now I can finally start colouring the t-shirts. I can safely say they're going to be super awesome. I'll take some time. The t-shirts need to dry as well. Have patience, girl. Come back tomorrow and they'll be done and dry. I'll get to work straight away. Bye for now. Peace. I find it really weird how some of the que these quests are like, see you tomorrow, but then it's not a day quest. Like, I can just do it again. Uh, the teas are finally finished and they're crazy cool. So awesome, in fact, that I'm totally keeping one for myself. I think Zed's going to agree. Even you might be wearing one of these someday. This is the end of my work. I hope you and Zed are happy with the teas. I know I am. It's been amazing to help the two of you. Please tell me if you need any help in the future. I'll be around later, girl. Thank you, Daisy. That was your name, right? Yeah. <laughs> terrible with names do you have them with you wow talk about awesomeness really cool selling these won't be hard kids are gonna go crazy over them daisy is so good at her job when i get home i'm gonna give her a big hug okay zed okay there's not much left to do cassandra i have only one thing left i need your help with you see we're cooperating cooperating yet yeah, with some cool bands and artists they would like us to put up posters so i thought we'd be nice and put them up here behind the shop that'd be cool here's a few posters for you to put up just holler when you're done oh, we get a shirt yes we love free stuff we have the miscreants we have the miscreants is that how you say it i think so we have the mis. okay are all of these the miscreants Yep, it, okay. The miscreants. Why does it sound weird when I say it? Yep, okay. You said awesome bands and there's only one band. Like, they're a great band, but what happened to the other ones? No, that's not what I wanted. Ready? Cool. This turned out really good. I'm so happy. Thank you. And <laughs> now everything is ready and the store is open. Here's one of the cool teas as a reward. Hope you like it. Rock on. Let's have a look at what's in his store. 200 Yorvik shillings. That's more like it. Let's look at some of these teas that he's talking about. These are not t-shirts, but okay. I do love them. I've got them on my main account. And I don't want to spend any star coins because... I don't want to buy star coins on this account because I have to pay conversion rates from Australia dollar to American dollar and that is very expensive. So uh, my mind is blank. I can't think of anything. Oh yeah. I'm saving my star coins for horses, not clothes. Uh, let's do another quest. Let's talk to cat lady. Uh, well, cat dog lady. Hi there, are you Cassandra? Cool, so awesome that you came by. I'm Amelia and I work here at the Pet Shop Girls. I make sure that all the cute animals are comfortable and have everything they need. I'm usually very busy with our webpage and web shop, so I'm looking for someone to help me take care of the little furballs. You seem like a fun girl. I'm sure we'll be friends, good friends as well. By the way, you have a beautiful horse. Is it a Burma? No, hang on, that's a cat. To be honest, I know absolutely nothing about horses. I just know they're fun to ride, but nothing else. So I think you'll have to teach me a thing or two about horses. Else, I'll soon be mixing horses with toasters. Not that toasters and horses look alike at all, but oh well. Your horse is called Zappy, you say? That's a nice name. I'd never be able to think of such a cool name for my dog. The poor thing has been named Ernst. Which says a lot. Is that Ernst or like Ernest? I'm not sure. So here's the thing. I need some help around the store and I would also love to get to know you a little better whilst we're at it. Sound like a good idea? Perfect. Let's get going. A woman came by and bought all our cats. We don't have any left. She must really love cats. And I'm sure the lovely little kitties would love living with her. But my store is so silent and lifeless now that all my lovely little fur balls have gone. So I need to get my hands on some new cats to snuggle with. I know that the pet shop in Fort Pinter has loads of kittens. They hardly have room for them all. And apparently the situation is dire. Which is perfect because I now I can bring some of them here. The security guard in Fort Pinter is helping to find new homes for them and he is more than willing to let me take some. He thinks it's heartbreaking to see all those cats sit on top of each other because of the lack of space. I know it's a bit far but it would it would really be a great help if you could go there and get those cats for me. I can hardly wait for them to arrive. Back to Fort Pinter we go. Wow, I'm so excited. Pardon? Cats to Amelia? I've been ordered to deliver some recruits to a certain commander, Amelia. I understand she has authorized you to pick them up here in Fort Pinter. They've been nice to be around. They've been nice to be around, so it'll be sad to see them go. But orders are orders. 
There's a guy, there's a dude, look at this dude. Attention, I hereby surrender command of the recruits, also called the kittens, to you, Cassandra. I wish you good luck and hope the journey back to Yalaheim goes well. Thank you, Mr. Captain Waterloo. I thought his name was literally just security guard before. But like, I remember it changing to Waterloo and laughing. Anyways. Would you look at that? Such cute kittens. They're simply irresistible. I almost want to keep them all myself, but my home would probably become a bit crowded. The rabbit food has started to run out and the poor things are starting to get hungry. Someone needs to get more food for them as soon as possible. Philip at Sunfield Farm makes his own rabbit food. It's a new hobby of his. Oh my gosh. I can never make that job. It's so sad. Hi again, Cassandra. Good to see you. I heard you were coming to get some rabbit food for the pet shop in Yalheim. We collaborate from time to time. I give Amelia food for the animals and she helps out with the animals on the farm. We need that from time to time. As you already know, some people on this farm can be a bit lazy. Here's a sack of yummy food that those rabbits are going to love. Made from my best homegrown produce. This food will make the rabbits go crazy with happiness. Can I jump it from this side? I can. I can jump it from that side. Great, you're back. That was fast. Now the rabbits will be happy. The dog food has ran out as well. The dogs can become a bit rowdy when hungry, so you better get them some food before they find my lunch bugs and eat my lunch instead. Go to my sister Joanna, who takes care of your vex tables. Yo, I didn't know that they were sisters. It's great to have a sister who you can buy cheap dog food from. I'm so lucky that I know so many people around here that I can help with. Oh my gosh, I did not know that they were sisters. Also, for some reason, I just got like a whack of nostalgia and I was like, <gasps> childhood. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. Hi there, I take it you're here to get the dog food for Amelia. I thought as much. You're always there for people when they need you. Oh, Joanna. My sister is so happy with all your help. She's had so much to do lately and now she's helping Philip with his animals too. Poor thing barely has any time for herself these days. Hopefully having you around helps a lot though. Uh, the sack of dog food is somewhere on the farm. Find it and bring it to Amelia. Say hi to Amelia from me. Let's find the sack of food. I was a sack of food. Where would I hide? Where would I be located? I think it's this one. Is it this one? I really think it's this one. No. Is it just the last one that you find? Is that how this works? Thank you. Now I have lots of dog food. Though it'll probably run out soon again. You can safely say that those dogs are greedy. Oh dear, now the cat food is finished and the kittens are screaming for more. I feel so sorry for those little things sometimes, but I'm just being overprotective as usual. Oh well, you're more than welcome to get some cat food from my best friend, Camilla. Carmilla. Carmilla? That's a really pretty name. She's not only the owner of Yalaheim's Cafe, she also happens to sell the best cat food in the entire Harvest Counties. It's not only healthy, but also very filling, which means the cats need less food than they eat. Then if they eat regular cat food, doesn't that sound good? Hi Cassandra, nice to see you as always. Hope everything is well with you. I guess you're here for the cat food? Excellent. It's so nice that everything is working out for Amelia with the pet shop. She's fought really hard for this and it's so good of you to help her out. Sometimes Amelia's family and I don't have time to step in. So it's good to have someone else who can help every now and again. But I won't take up any more of your time. I've... I am known to just babble a lot, haha. I'm starting to lose my functionality of reading and talking. Well, here's a sack of cat food. I promise the kitties will be happy. It's made from the best produce, so there's no chance the cats will get upset tummies from this. Bye for now. Oh my gosh, we get the cat shirt, please. Yes. That's all sorted. Carmela knows everything about cat food. And we're done that quest so we finished two quest lines today we made a shop and we became friends with the local cat lady cat lady i keep calling her a cat lady but just pet girl here in yalaheim we currently only have two more quests left here in yalaheim i just realized that i didn't show off any of the free shirts that we got today so i thought that i would do that because yes here we have the blue one with the tie. I really like this one. I think obviously it might look nicer with like an updated model, but obviously it's an old quest. The only thing I don't really like about it is the skull heart thing on the back. Um, personal taste though, but yeah, I like it. And then the second one is the cat one, which is really cute. We've got paw prints and it says, I love cats. And it's got a cat face on the back in a heart. And yeah, I also like this one too. What a surprise. I logged off here in Fort Pinter when I did a 
a live stream on the weekend so i think we're just gonna pick it up from here and do some quests so have i not done the pony thing have i not done the pony race yet well let's get this out of the way hello hello do you have a second you do super duper my sister polly and i have ordered a whole lot of jumps and decorations from james that we are going to use to build a pony competition course isn't it great I know, ponies are the best, right? There are no real competitions for just ponies, so we thought we would set up Silverglade's very first exclusive pony competition, but this is not what I wanted to tell you. It has been several weeks since we placed our order with James, and I've seen that he has a big package there that has been there for a week. It has to be our order, but whenever I try to and talk to him about it, he runs away on some errand or another. He's avoiding me all the time. I don't know why. He was really nice when we paid him for our order. Of course, you gave him money, Penny. Oh my gosh. Can you maybe speak with him and find out what is going on? You can, super duper. Be sure to come back and let me know when you find out. What you find out, I can't remember. I'm not very good at reading. Let's go talk to James then, because it seems like either he's really busy or he... Uh, uh, Okay, or he is up to mischief again. James, what is going on this time? What are you doing? Hello, Cassandra. Are you here to ride in my competition for real horses? Oh, no. No, you want to know where the jumps Penny and Polly ordered are? <sighs> Yes, I have them, but I can't give the jumps to them. It would be bad for my business, you understand? Oh, my gosh. James! Uh, Okay then, Cassandra, I guess you're right. A deal is a deal. But I'm going to lose a lot of money because of their pony competition. I'm sure of it. How about you help me out with a little thing and I will get the delivery ready, deal? It depends on this little thing, James. Great, ride down and take some pictures of the ponies on the barge. I'm going to print some postcards and sell them to tourists. Good idea, right? So I should be able to make some money on those little horses after all. Come back when you are finished. Great. James, you sneaky, sneaky person. Wasn't it in the last part where I was saying that sometimes James seems so kind and not about the money? This confirms that James is about the money. <laughs> I don't think James is a mean person, you know. He just has um, an interesting personality. Do I have to get off my horse to take pictures of the ponies? I'm not sure. One photo done. Two photos done. Three photos done. And four photos are done. I think that's everything. Let's see. Excellent. This will be perfect. Okay, so while you were busy photographing small horses, I got Polly and Penny's order ready. It's ready to go. And as compensation for the delay, I'm going to deliver it to their competition location for free. What do you mean, strange? That I'm doing anything for free? Cassandra, inside my little chest beats a heart of pure gold. Heart of gold. If that is true, maybe I could replace it with a cheaper pacemaker instead. A gold heart must be worth quite a lot of your Vic shillings. James! Oh my gosh. Sorry, Cassandra. I was just daydreaming for a second there. Ride back to Penny and let them know their delivery is on the way. James, you're ridiculous. Also, that just reminded me of how short James used to be before he was updated. Hi, right, Cassandra. How did it go? James has sent out order. Great. You're the best. Cassandra, now it is finally time to put the competition track together. Meet me and Polly at Pony Point, please. We need your help. Pony Point is behind Yon Yard's tomb between the tomb and the Silver Song River. I'll just fix a couple of small things first, then I'll meet you there. All right, so I am not silly, you guys. I know this is a pony race competition, so we have to get on a pony, right? And luckily, we've got three ponies to choose from. We have our Shinko Teague and we have our Zoni or our Vega. So now I have to make a decision. Which pony do I want to ride? Alright, let me have a good look at them all. Which horse have I not ridden in a video? I think I've ridden them all. But something is calling me towards uh, Little Rain. I'm going to be honest, I don't know your nickname. So I'm very sorry. Let's get some tack on you though. I'm not sure if I've got an outfit which will match, but we'll try and figure something out. We do have a little bit of star coins, so I think I want to buy 
Maybe a new saddle blanket for this account. The saddle blankets kind of look weird on this horse and I don't know why. I think I'm actually going to buy this checkered one. Some blue leg wraps like these ones here. And I kind of wanted to buy these blue ones here for the bows. But they're 15 and 79 star coins, which is kind of expensive. We might leave the ribbons for now because there might be something cheaper at midsummer now that I think about it. Now that we are on a pony though, we can head over and continue our pony championship adventures. In fact, I just realized that we're going straight past the midsummer area, so we can probably check it out on our way. So I'm going to buy the tail ribbon that we have here and put it on. And I'm hoping that maybe there is a flower crown which will match. I think this one actually matches very nicely. It's one Jorvik Shalane, so why wouldn't we? In fact, let's just buy them all. I'm going to have to come back when I have more space in my inventory because I'm out of space. Actually, we can put one on and buy one more. I'm thinking that we can wear this one here because it's got some purple and some blue. And now we can buy the last flower crown, which is worth one Jorvik Shalane. There is a few older models of flower crowns, but... We can always come back and get them later. We have now arrived at Pony Point and I did end up emptying my inventory. Hi Cassandra, I got a ride with a fishing boat so I got here faster than I thought I would. Okay, so now the fun work can start. We're going to put up the jumps on the course, put up all the signs and rake everything up so it's nice and clean. There's a lot to do, but with help it should go quickly. Cassandra, could you take the jumps out and put them up? They are so heavy that it would be great if you could take them on your horse. That way, Polly and I won't have to carry them all over Pony Point. You can? Thank you. Come back when you are done and you can be the very first rider to test out the course. Thank you, Penny. Oh my gosh. So we are currently helping to build a race. How exciting is that? We've got nine jumps to put up number one let's see if we can jump it we can jump it number two jump to oh belly oh my gosh number three and number four let's jump this one. Oh, we didn't make that one that one's a little bit tricky number five number six number seven eight and nine Perfect, this is going to be super duper. Now we can test the track. Speak to Polly. This is super duper exciting. Cassandra, are you ready to test out our pony competition? We have been planning this for months, so I really hope you'll like it. Usually only ponies would be allowed in the race, but now any horse will do since it's your first time trying out. So I didn't need a pony. This must have changed. I swear you needed a pony the first time you did this. When did that change? Oh my gosh, if you guys know when that quest changed, you can let me know in the comments below, but that's okay, because we have a new outfit on our Vega right here, and we're looking really good. Is this even Vega? Wait, this is the Zoni. Um, I totally know what I'm talking about. The obstacle broke. You stopped the competition. Tell Penny what has happened. Is this new? I literally in saying this, I feel like we've already done this quest on this account. Is this updated? Oh my gosh, you guys have to let me know in the comments below because I really do not know what's going on right now. Because I seriously cannot remember this happening before. Oh no, the jump broke. How did that happen? You barely touched it. What bad luck. What should we do now? We can't open the competition if the jumps are broken. Did James... I know, it was James. First, he was completely against our competition, and then he was suddenly completely nice about it. He is behind this. I know it. Cassandra, what should we do? Can you go and speak to James about this? Thank you. Oh, I really hope you can help us with this plan. Otherwise, we will need to cancel our pony competition plans. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, you guys. We have to go get to the bottom of this and go talk to James. I told you guys, James is so sneaky. Like, in the last video, I was like, this does not sound like James. This is the James that I know. <laughs> James, what do you have to do behind this? Hello, Cassandra. I don't really have time to chat right now. My stomach hurts. It's important. Okay, then. Broken jumps? No, I don't know anything about that. Do I swear? Nah, maybe a little bit. Okay, okay, it was me that did it. But I didn't really mean to do it. Oh my gosh, it's a timed quest? <gasps> They're leaving us on a cliffhanger? I seriously do not remember this happening. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> What's going on? Well, I think that can't meet. Wow, English. I think that means we should continue with maybe some James's token quests. Hey, Cassandra, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Something serious. It's not a scam, I promise. I highly doubt that, James, but I'll listen to it. Have you heard of Traveling Toy Pictures? It's where you take a toy like plushie or action figure and pose it in photos on your vacations, as if the toy is traveling on its own. This is Token. He's a dragon. I've had him for as long as I can remember. You know those postcard photos you helped me with before? I was thinking, wouldn't they be a lot more fun if you posted token in them? Sorry, posed. <laughs> Dragons are in right now, right? I'm sure tourists would eat them up. Let, what if I let you borrow token to take along as you explore the area? If you find any perfect photo ops, pose him for the postcard, perfectly shot. He could be the official traveling toy mascot of Fort Pintar. I think it sounds cute. It's not your worst idea ever. I'm going to say I think it sounds cute. You you do? Then you do it? Awesome. To make this work, I need enough shots to fill an album of postcards. I trust you to find the best photo ops in the area. Just make sure Token looks good in the shots. Bring them back when you've completed the album and I promise to make it worth your while. James, I'm not too sure if I trust you, but I'm going to do it anyways. Alright, so now we have to do token, and I've already done this on one account, so I'm not really looking forward to doing this on two accounts. It might have to be a live stream activity, you know, we'll go token hunting on a live stream. But we have got another quest which appears to be over here, maybe with the security guard, yes. Attention, you, yes you, listen up, a bunch of animals have escaped from the pet store. Cats, dogs, rabbits, and I don't know what else. You seem competent and capable of handling this tough mission. That's top priority. Do you accept the mission to recapture all the escaped animals in Fort Pinto? I do, sir, I do. Good, then you are working under my command. Attention. Attention, I like it when things are organized neatly so we are going to do this in an organized and structured manner i have constructed a list of what you will need to do point one find the puppies five puppies have run away and need to be found the shopkeeper sh eh, shopkeeper has informed me that the puppies like humans so start your search by looking in amongst the people in fort pinter dismissed all right we're on the puppy hunt you guys i think i can already see one over here do they run away when I get close to them? I don't think so. <gasps> it's so cute. It's so cute. And there's another one over here. That's two puppies. Three puppies over here. I thought this recycling was a puppy, but oh my gosh, I did just spot one. Four puppies. How could I miss you? Do you think they're going to be down on the beach? I don't think they'd go down there. They're, they're just puppies. They can't go downstairs safely. Do you think they go upstairs? I'm seriously struggling with this last puppy, you guys. <gasps> I see it. I see it. <laughs> last puppy found safe and sound. Report. All puppies are found and accounted for. Excellent work. Point two. Find the bunnies. Five bunnies have escaped from their cages and must be recaptured. The rabbits are reported to like plants and vegetables. So you should start looking where these things are growing, like in bushes and other plants. Dismissed. Were the other dogs not literally standing in bushes? Okay, well, I can see one bunny over here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Second bunny over here. Third bunny right next to it. Five, I mean four, I can count. Fourth bunny by the trailer. And fifth bunny literally right next to the pet store. They didn't have to go very far. Interesting enough, oh, the E button does work. Report, all the rabbits caught and accounted for, excellent work. Point three, find the kittens. Five kittens have deserted their posts at the base, um, I mean pet store. The runaway should be in Fort Pinter. Those little kittens are sneaky and good at avoiding detection behind enemy lines. They can be tricky to spot. Be careful, this is your most difficult assignment yet. Dismissed. Okay, I'm very scared now because I did struggle with the puppies. Okay, I can see one behind me. This cat was not very far from the pet store at all but cat number one cat number two in the stables oh it's very cute up there cat number three sitting on the wall how cute is that the e button is actually proving very helpful right now i am enjoying it i can see nope that's just a candle do you think these ones would be able to go inside of here i don't think they're up here in the wall tower thing 
Oh, I can see one in the cafe. Oh my gosh, these cats are so sneaky. I'm trying to click the E button to dismount. That's not gonna work. <laughs> is this our fourth cat? I kind of lost count. It is our fourth cat. You guys, I decided to come back into <laughs> the wall and here is the final cat in the tower that I did not go to. And as I walked away, I was like, I should just at least go to the final tower. But I didn't, and that was where the cat was. Report, all the kittens have been found. Well done. Point four, restore security around the base. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down? Sorry. Oh no, sob. You don't understand. I always wanted to be a soldier, not a security guard. But the doctor said my head was too big to be a soldier. None of the helmets could fit. Oh, that's so sad. So sometimes I daydream and pretend I'm an officer here in the fort. Is that okay with you? Really? Thank you. Make sure you tell me if you think I'm taking it too far sometimes. Please, let's keep this owl little secret. I wouldn't want anyone else to know. They might think I'm crazy. You promise you won't tell anyone? Of course. Thank you. I promise I'll calm down a bit. I should probably get a dog I can order around. Hmm, that isn't a bad idea. You know, I'll give it some thought. Uh, tags for the animals, lock for the pet store. Sorry, point five. I didn't get to read the other one. <laughs> If the privates, that is the kittens, puppies, and so on, run away again, we must be able to identify them quickly. Order, um, I mean, ask the Silverglade vet nicely if she would come down here and tag the animals. Dismissed. Let's also do the other quest at the same time. Point six. I mean... Point six. Sorry if I hurt your ears. Security is a big problem here at the base. I mean, pet store. There isn't even a proper lock on the door. Order a well-made and army-approved padlock from Supply Officer Marsden imme immediately. This is Conrad, the blacksmith. Dismissed. All right, so we'll go to the blacksmith on our way to the village, using our time wisely, as I, as I like to say, I guess. Supply... Person, Marsden, I'm sorry, I forgot what the security guard called you. A lock so the pets don't escape again? Oh, it's a timed mission. Okay, uh, we'll head to Silverglade Village then. All right, I managed to find the uh, vet in the new village. It's literally not that hard to find, I know, okay. Um, Tag to the animals. Hello there, Cassandra. Oh, and it's a timed quest. Which is fine because we've got quite a few quests around here in Silverglade that we Silverglad? Silverglade that we can continue, including ones with the vet. Ongoing analysis. I'm almost done. It was very difficult to get a good sample from the feather. There was a large amount of oil on it, but I managed to get a sample. These can be compared with previous samples from Mr. Campbell's oil field. Take these samples and ride up to Carney at the vineyard and ask if you can borrow the comparison machine again. Alright, so this must have been continuing on continuing on from a quest that we did a few parts ago. Special soap to remove oil. A special soap is required to clean the ducks properly, otherwise their feathers can be ruined. I've run out of soap and it takes too long to order. Can you write to Fergrove and ask to buy some soap from Felicity? She's the one who makes it. Felicity is at Fergrove stable. She runs the place. And finally, talk to the vet. Hello, Cassandra. What did you say? You found some hedgehogs? They looked a bit sad. A bit sad and scared poor things maybe they can't find their way back to their nest can you go back and look for the nest haven't i already done this why do i remember this quest i have no idea but i seriously feel like i've already done this quest maybe it was just a quest that i never got around to finishing i really should remember these things more i think i'm going the unconventional way oh, to silverglade manor because um I mean, it worked, but maybe it just wasn't ideal. Hello, Cassandra, how are you today? Uh, so you want to borrow my comparison machine again? It should work, oddly enough. So I don't use... Oddly enough, I don't use it as much as I thought I would when I bought it at J-Bay. So I might as well come to... Well... So it might as well come to some use. Just take your samples and use the machine. It's on the table here next to us. Awesome, so I guess we click and drag to the machine. Did it work? Yes. Look, the result is obvious. It's the same oil in both test samples. Write back to Felix in Silverglade Village and tell him that the samples are identical. I seriously cannot remember what was going on. Maybe you guys can. I'm not sure. I'm now going to go ride to the hedgehog because I believe we found the hedgehog just outside of the riding hall a few episodes ago. Like, 
a long time ago. It's so easy to get distracted in, in this game because once you finish one timed quest, you continue another quest and then you just forget about them. Like, I cannot promise that in the next part we're actually going to continue with uh, helping out the pony race. I'm going to be honest, I might forget about it. I'll try not to though. I want to keep this as a... Uh, in line as possible as organized as possible all right this is our first all right this is our fourth time searching for a hedgehog nest and i don't think we're gonna find anything so now we have to go back and talk to the vet i believe but first i think we are going to trailer to furgo village to go buy whatever it is we needed to buy i've already forgotten i'm very sorry Oh no, I thought that there was a trailer here, but then I, you have to unlock a quest to do the trailer. I guess we're going to Silverglade Manor then. Cassandra, it's good to see you here in our little village. Oh, some ducks have been covered in oil, you say? That's bad. Of course you can buy the special soap from me. I'm an expert at making special soap for sensitive animals. Here you go. This is the special soap for sensitive animals. It'll be perfect for the ducks and I guarantee they'll be white and clean again. Hurry back to the vet so she can clean the poor ducks. Let's do talk to the vet first. You couldn't find any hedgehog nests? Well, then that's probably why they are so sad. If you can find some leaves, maybe you can make a nest for the hedgehogs. So, but thank you, Cassandra. That was really fast. Now I can start the difficult job of removing all this horrible oil from the ducks. And I think we're going to have to leave them there. And we're going to go talk to Felix. And then we'll end this episode because I've been recording for almost 50 minutes. Really? Then we know that Mr. Campbell's oil has contaminated the duck feather. At least we have the evidence we need. So we are here in Steve's farm area, Silverglade Village area. So I figure we have a quite a few quests, so we might as well pick one up from here. Do we have any main quests? Uh, we do not have any main quests right now, so we'll just start with whatever we come across first. I believe maybe Steve has one for us over here, which will be interesting. Um, the series is a little interesting because I really haven't like uh, done it in the most chronological way. We start a quest and then I don't continue that quest, so I'm very sorry about that, but I'll try my hardest now. The cabbage has arrived. Take this pile of cabbage and put it into the holes in the field, as the vet said. Then we'll see if the small creatures will be more friendly. All right, so we are helping Steve with his chipmunk problem. I think that is what this is. All those ho holes and... Oh, is this the one where the people from the Fort Pinter Tourism got stuck in the holes? I'm not quite sure, but let's just put some cabbage in these holes in the wheat field. Wow, it's so fun playing this game and doing these quests so many years later from my main account. Because it just it's completely different when you're older and when the game has changed this month, I suppose. This much? Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Where's the last one? Apparently I'm looking right at it. Um, over here somewhere. Right on top of it. I literally... Oh, there it is. Okay. Where's my horse? I'm about to like run away without my horse. What the heck? Oh my gosh. So smart I am. So they peeked up from the holes and seemed happy. Great. What do you think about letting them live behind the barn in the corner of the old wall where the race starts? Then we won't have to walk far when it's feeding time. Here, take these signs and put them up around here so no one walks or rides into this area and gets hurt. We don't want any tourists to get stuck again. Yes, I got it right. Oh my gosh. I'm so smart. Did the quest line, the quest storyline match up with what he was talking about here? I think it does. It's always interesting when they renovate an area as much as they've renovated Steve's to see whether they've remembered or like taken every little detail maybe spoken about in the quest line. I don't know. It's just funny to me when, when they miss something. Well done, Cassandra. Now we've made a new home for our little friends. What? You think we should give them a bathtub? Aha, uh -huh. the vet said that they like to take baths because they get so dirty when they dig. Fair enough. Barney at the silo has some old water troughs and I'm sure he has one to spare. Barney can usually be found outside his silo to the east of us, so not that far. That's right, you've met him before. 
before. That I have. I have met him many of the occasions. Why? Oh my gosh, wait. Barney does not feel that far away. Before the update, Barney felt so far away, but I think they've moved the barn closer to Barney or something. He's so close now, buddies. You want an old water trough, a bathtub for chipmunks? Steve seems to get weirder every day. Um, excuse me, Barney, but it was my idea. Well, the vet told me. I think he's using my grain for other things than feeding the birds. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> What is that supposed to be? Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Hunt for the perfect bathtub. Of course, you can take an old water trough. I think there's one behind the silo. If you can find one that isn't broken, you're welcome to take it. Thank you. Is there actually a lot behind here? Oh, there's literally only one. That was such... That's not a water trough. That was like a tiny bucket. What the heck? Should we... What other quests does Barney have? High quality bird food and farmer. Here are the seeds and I'll take them back to Steve and the birds. This is perfect timing. Okay. Hello, Cassandra. It's time to sow some seeds and plant some potatoes. Would you mind helping me out? You see, my back hurts. Uh, so some help from a healthy young girl would be a life saver. Of course. How nice. Well, the thing is that me and my relatives are going to have a large potluck party at my place in a couple of days. What's better than using your own crop? Lucky for me, the vegetables normally grow very fast in my field, so I think we will get a good harvest if we start now. When it's sowing season, I always talk to Felix. He's a man in tune with nature and has a special interest in seeds. He always has good quality seeds. Can you ride over there and get some seeds for me? Get some of each kind and we'll see what will grow the best. Okay, so first we'll talk to Steve's. I know I'm kind of taking on quite a few quests right now, but it saves riding around sometimes. It kind of makes sense. We have we went and asked Barney for a water trough and he was like, oh yeah, I've also got the seeds by the way. And, oh, maybe when you have time, can you go get me some seeds from Felix in the village since you're heading in that direction anyways? So it'll kind of make sense. That's a fine trough, and I also have some bird seeds for you. Wonderful, my birds can finally eat to their heart's content. Right, interior decoration. Just put it over there at the chipmunk's future home. And feed the birds. Would it be too much to ask you to feed the birds as well? I just put the seeds on the birds' feeders and they will flock around you. I think some birds have disappeared from the everyone fields since GED started drilling for oil there. Poor birds. Very poor birds. Also, I haven't, like, I woke up a couple of hours ago, but I haven't spoken a ton, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. And for some reason... Sometimes, like, my nose gets a little bit nasally when I, like, talk a lot. I don't know. Sometimes It's really weird sometimes. Alright, let's put this quote-unquote trough. This is not what I was envisioning when we got a trough, but it's, so, it's fine. Let's put it down here. See, it's like a little bowl. It looks tiny, like a horse can't eat from that. What the heck? Okay, and one last bird feeder to fill over here somewhere. Over here. And collect some recycling. We currently have 19 pieces of recycling. Look how happy they are. I must say that you make an excellent bird feeder. Done. Wow, Steve, you're a man of words. Housewarming. Take the rest of the cabbage and put it in the chipmunk's new home so we can see if they want to go there. Of course. Why do I literally remember doing this quest all those years ago? Oh my gosh. Gonna cry. Also, you guys, look at... Oh my gosh, they just appeared. <laughs> Look at how many star coins I have. This is all hard work saved star coins. We can like buy a horse or something at some point. How nice that they moved over here so quickly. I think they like both you and the cabbage a lot. I hope they'll live happily here in their new home so no one will fall down any more holes. Thank you again for a job well done. You can come back and help me feed them if you want to. Fixing the field. Cassandra, I almost forgot. The old holes that the chipmunks made have to be filled. They're just as dangerous now as before. Take the shovel and cover them. When you come back, I'll have a nice reward for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Purple pets. Steve, you shouldn't have. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Literally, I... I pretty I must have sold these pets. I don't have them on my main account that I can remember. And that makes me sad. Cause there was a stage where I just felt peer pressured into selling stuff because like people on YouTube will always made those videos where they sold some things that they never wore and stuff. So I like 
I sold like five items because I could not bring myself to sell anything else. Like it was so sad. Oh, that makes me so annoyed that I must have sold them. Uh, I'm such like a hoarder, I suppose. But like, you can't get this stuff back, man. I can't just buy these pants again. Look, for what I can't buy in real life, I'll make up for in a pixel game. That sounds perfectly alright to me. <laughs> Thanks, we are done for now. We have to wait and see if any more mysterious small animals show up on my farm. If they don't, I know who to call for help. Right, I'll be there, Steve. Have a nice day here in Silverglade, Cassandra. Thank you. And now we've got a lovely pair of pants. Good old pants. They're actually pretty good. They got some good riding. Not completely maxed, but it's it's still pretty decent. It doesn't quite match my outfit. I mean, we can wear it. It kind of matches my shirt a little bit, but that's it. So now we can go and speak to Felix about the seeds that Barney wants. Hi, Cassandra. Oh, Barney is going to have his annual family thing. Has it been a year already? I've put together some bags of different seeds, but haven't written on the labels what they are. Barney likes surprises. Take these to him and say hello from me. I will. Thank you. Thank you. I always get so lost in Silverglade. Like, for some reason, I just don't know where I am right now, what direction I'm facing. Thank you, Cassandra. I can't wait to see what these seeds are for. Did we just level up? Oh my gosh, we just leveled up. I don't think I have my music turned on. Oh, I missed the level up music. We need to dig some holes in the ground to sow the seeds. Here, take my shovel to go out on the field. Make sure to get off your horse to dig. Watch out for the combine harvester. It's dangerous and not to be messed with. Oh my gosh, we're level 12, you guys. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. Look at this fresh new XP bar. Oh my gosh, it looks so weird at the bottom of my screen to not have any yellow. Okay, let's sow some seeds. Dig some holes, look out for the combine harvester. Oh, okay. That uh, I don't really like the holes. Like it oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> it just looks weird. I don't think I like that. Yeah, I don't think I like that at all. Yeah. No, I don't think I like that. Wait a second. Is that Barney? But Barney is over there. I uh, I actually can't see Barney over there. Huh. Interesting. He just full on teleported into his harvester. Wait, yeah, look, Barney's over there in his harvester. Barney is over there. Oh my gosh, so trippy. Oh my gosh. Nice work, Cassandra. Very well done. Keep this up and you will soon be a really good farmer. Now it's time to plant the seeds. Here is a bag of seeds to spread out over the field. It's not that important where you plant them. Here and there will be good enough. Uh, do I still have to be on foot for this? Good work. Maybe we should water the seeds a little. That will help them to start growing. Here's my old watering can. It should be enough for the new seeds. Thank you so much for helping me with this, Cassandra. Now I have to write some invitations for my family get together. Really, can I just hold the watering can on my horse for this, please? Thank you. Probably not. It's probably going to make me dismount. Yep, I have to dismount. Okay, my horse can go back here then. Am I going to be hit by this harvester? I don't think so. I think we're fine. Thanks a million. Now we have to wait and see if it will grow. Hello again. I am a bit worried. Nothing has come up yet. I mean, it's been two seconds, Barney. <laughs> I hope I don't have to postpone the party. We need to do something extra special to get the plant started. Cow dung. Yes, you heard right. We need some manure to get the plants ready in time. Maybe you and Sky Twin can use the shovel to collect some man man some man nope okay some manure for me. Ride to Hollow Woods in Veildale. Claire's cow manure is great. Okay, so we're just gonna take someone's cow manure. That's fine. I'm sure you have some sort of agreement with her. One manure, two manure, three manure, four manure. 5 manure and 6 manure. Now where did I put my horse? Awesome, it smells really bad. Lucky for the crops, they don't have noses. Fertilizing a field is not glamorous work, but it has to be done. Cassandra, take the bucket of manure and spread it out everywhere. The soil will absorb the nutrients quickly, no time to lose. Take the bucket and get started. Oh, what a joyous job I have been given, Barney. Thank you. Running around the field again. I wasn't expecting.
see that? Oh my gosh, that was really bad. <laughs> oh no, okay, that was also a close one. Good work, that's all we can do today. And now we have a timer quest, so we'll come to back to this at some point. Oh my gosh, is this a club down here? What club is this? What, what's going down here? We have strong eagles. Do you want a clubby thing? Are they gonna do a curl? Do a curl, do a curl, do a curl! Come on! Ah! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, looking so good! Oh, they're doing it on- Oh! 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 It's a fate! Wait, mm. Oh! Looking good they are! Okay, <laughs> let's stop club spying now and go into the village to see if anyone needs our help over here. It appears as if the councilman needs our help. Now the one behind it is actually the club hall quest, which I think I'm going to do off camera at some point. So I don't have to bore you guys with it because I actually already have a video doing that quest. I'll tell you, this is very strange. They usually open the gate to Golden Hills Valley early in the spring. Every year around this time, Claus, the mayor of Cape West Fishing Village, opens the gate. For some reason, he didn't open it this year. I bet you would like to know why they kept it closed in the winter. Um, sure. <laughs> well, the gate to Golden Hills Valley is always closed in winter because of the mystical snow ghosts and other dangerous winter spirits that ravage the area in winter. By closing the gate, we keep them out of Silverglade. Those spirits are dangerous and frighten both children and horses, so it's extremely important to close the gate every winter. Something tells me that isn't true. I'm not sure how we are going to do this. Mayor Claus locks and opens the gate with the key to the city, which he always carries around his neck. Maybe you've seen a painting of him in the castle of Silverglade. No? Ride to the castle look and look at the painting. It's immediately to the right inside the door. Who knows? Maybe it will give you an idea for a solution to our problem. I'll continue to try and find a solution here while you are away. Am I about to unlock Golden Hills Valley? What? Why does it, it feels way too early for this? I unlocked it at like level 14. But I think because we have... I actually have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Isn't it? Isn't the key like in the pet painting or something? I have no idea. I can't remember. Yes, let's go inside. Looking so fine. Yes. Okay, and this is the painting. The painting shows Mayor Claus in Golden Hills Valley. The key to the city hangs on a necklace around his neck. The key to the city that opens the lock gate. Hmm, the painting is very detailed. Maybe you can make a copy by reproducing it somehow. A photo. I will suggest this to the councilman. Something about this feels slightly illegal, but I guess we're doing it with the councilman, so this is totally fine. Your idea is to take a photograph of the key in the painting and have someone make a copy from the photo of the picture of the key, and then we can use that copy of the key to open the gate. That's brilliant! <laughs> You think you can borrow a camera from James to photograph the key in the painting in the castle? Okay, ride to Fort Pinter and ask the little rascal. Little rascal? Okay, where am I and what direction do I need to go in? We need to go in this direction. Should we just trailer that? I kind of feel like just trailering to Fort Pinter. Hmm, so you want to borrow my camera? Yes. Okay, Cassandra, you can borrow my camera, but only because it's you. But as soon as you're done, please take the camera back to Derek, who works at the post office in Silverglade. Derek wants to borrow the camera too, you see. I think he might even be able to print out your photo for you. I've heard they have that kind of equipment at the post office. What level is this Dallas person? I'm pretty sure they are a two level level, so I'm gonna confuse them by walking straight into the locked, into the locked village. <laughs> okay. Let's take a picture of that key now. Oh yes, a very detailed, high quality image. And now we can take it to the post office, which is right over here, okay. Hello, Derek. 
Aha! I finally get to borrow James's camera. I'm actually an excellent photographer. Before I started working here at the post office, I used to take pictures for several big fashion magazines. I actually took the first photos of Anne when she went to school in Jorvik. I see. You want me to print out your photo? Of course I'll print it for you. I'll even do it for free. We normally charge 15 Jorvik shillings per print. Zip! Ready? What a great picture of a, uh... A painted key? So nice. Okay, 15 Jorvik shillings is so cheap. What the heck? When a trailer ride costs like 25 shillings? Okay, back to- oh my gosh. Okay, back to the council there. That was fast, and what a great picture. I've been standing here thinking about who could possibly make a key with only a photo to go by, but I can't think of anyone. We don't have a locksmith around here. Any suggestions? I'm thinking Conrad. Of course, I forgot that. Good thinking. Yeah, Conrad Marsden in Moorland is a renowned blacksmith. It was great that you thought of him. Take the photo with you and ask him if he can make a copy of the key. I hope everything goes well in Golden Hills Valley. Give my regards to Claus when you speak to him about why he didn't open the gate this year. Oh my god, I'm literally going into Golden Hills Valley right now. It feels way too early for this. How am I at the point of Golden Hills Valley right now? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I literally, th I'm pretty sure I had to be like level 14, like six years ago when I unlocked Golden Hills Valley. I haven't unlocked Golden Hills Valley in like six years, oh my gosh. When would I have unlocked Golden Hills Valley? Probably in 2014 or 2015 sometime. So six to seven years, oh my gosh. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I feel, I feel sad. The nostalgia. Okay, let's see if Conrad can do this. It might have to be a day quest. I might have to wait a day, which will suck because it can't be in this episode. Cassandra, long time no see. You want to know if I can make you a copy of a key? The key to the city? Okay, the end justifies the means. I suppose I'll help you so that we can find out what's going on over in Golden Hills Valley. I mean, the councilman sent me, so this is fine. I need iron ore to make the key. You already know there is iron ore in the dem... dem Damascus mine, just southwest of here. Take my pickaxe and ride over to the mine to get some. I'll get started when you get back. Awesome. Okay, I haven't been here in ages. And three Jorvik iron ore, all mined up in my inventory. Wonderful. You have done this before, so you are getting good at it now. This might take a while, but if you help me with the first phase of the forging, it will be faster. At least you'll get to practice your blacksmithing skills. Who knows, someday you might be a real blacksmith's apprentice. Listen up. Sometimes I'll want you to work the iron on the anvil with the hammer, and sometimes I'll want you to heat the iron in the forge with tongs, and sometimes I'll want you to cool the iron in the bucket of water. I'll tell you what I want you to do and when. Timing is of the essence. If you get it wrong, we'll have to start all over again. Remember, you'll need to get off your horse when we do the forging, and put your horse at some distance from us so we have room to work. Get ready to use them. Okay. Ah! 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 I have to get off my horse. Okay, okay, I'm off my horse. Okay, I have my tools ready. Okay, I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I'm wielding weapons right now. He iron. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is glitched. Oh my- Why am I hitting the hammer? Oh my gosh. Oh my- This is not right. I'm hitting the hammer, not the actual thing. Oh my gosh, this is glitched. It's so glitched. Work on the end. Oh no, okay, um, hello. Let me- There we go. This is definitely not right. Okay, but we're doing great. We're doing absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, I have to do something in here. Okay, that was a satisfying sound. I did like that. Heat! Heat, heat, heat! Heat! Heat, heat, heat again! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Work another on the anvil. Okay, and now... Heat! Cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. Heat! <laughs> I love how Conrad's literally just standing in the background like, Hello, help. Cool it! Hammer! Cool it! <gasps> okay, thank gosh. We've, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it, guys. You are certainly a talented apprentice. I must admit, I'm sure you could be a great blacksmith someday if you put your mind to it. Now I'm going to finish the key and then the iron sh needs to rest until tomorrow to set. Come back to burn the key should be ready. Oh my gosh, okay, I uh, wait. Uh, sometimes I think that this is glitched because I didn't have to wait a day. Oh, 
No, I do. Well, unfortunately, because I'm pre-filming, I'm pre-filming another two episodes of this series. So we're going to have to wait until two more episodes are over to unlock Golden Hills Valley, which is annoying because I'm going on holidays. So I need to pre-film some videos, but uh, look forward to that. You guys on Megashore unlocking Golden Hills Valley soon. Oh my gosh. You know what? I might push off my pre-filming until tomorrow so that in next episode we can we can unlock Golden Hills Valley. Okay, okay. Let's just continue though. A masterpiece installed. What is this from? Cassandra, you were late. I know I'm very late. I don't even know what's going on right now. You weren't here at the crack of dawn, so I went to full pin to myself and installed my master work of a lock. It's perfect. Have a look at my craftsmanship the next time you're walking by the pet store. Oh, is this when pets were, like, stolen or something? Ride in peace, Cassandra. Ride back to Fort Pinter and report the card. Okay, a true blacksmith's apprentice. You prove to be a talented blacksmith's apprentice. Maybe you want to be a really skilled blacksmith in the future. So, can you make a really good pair of horseshoes? I'm sure it can be done. But it will take a lot of work from you because you will have to make them yourselves. That's the only way to make them as strong as possible. You are going to need some tools and materials, some of which are quite unusual. This will probably take a week, but it will be worth it, I promise. Are you ready to do what it takes to become a blacksmith and make your own horseshoes? Yes, I am. Okay then, Cassandra, let's get started on for forging shoes for Sky Twin. Because we are using different kinds of metal, we will also need some special water to cool the metal. For the forge, we will need fuel, which you will need to go get. I have the forge and the t t tools, and you are of course welcome to use them for your work as long as you listen to me and do exactly as I say. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Melt water. Listen now, Cassandra, all the way up in Veodo, you can find the source of the Silver Song River. The water there comes from ancient glaciers that are slowly melting in the valley of the hidden dinosaur. The water is full of mystical forces that will make the horse that wears these shoes faster than the wind. Here, Cassandra, take my bucket right over to Veildale and collect some water from the source of the Silver Song River. Near the east coast in Veildale, there is an old trail that leads to the place where you can collect the water. I will do that. Ancient firewood. Listen closely now, Cassandra. The fire in the forge needs to be fed with nature's ancient powers to give the bearers of the horseshoes amazing strength. Yes, fire is powerful in itself, but we need to give it something extra to make the shoes truly special. We need wood from the mighty ancient oak. In ancient times, hollow woods was full of those majestic oak trees, but now, there are only a few left along the edge of the Silver Song River on the east shore. Pick up wood from the ancient oak, Cassandra, on the eastern bank of the Silver Song River, where it runs through hollow woods. Okay, we can do that as well, John, I'm John Marsden. Oh my gosh, wait, I meant Conrad, I'm sorry. <laughs> More ghost ore. Listen up, Cassandra. We need ghost ore from Yon Yarl's tomb to start forging the horseshoes. The people of Jorvik still tell stories about Jarl's strong will and discipline and how the mystical ghost ore is filled with his qualities. With this ore in the horseshoes, the horse's discipline will be as strong as Jarl's. Here is my faithful pickaxe. Ride to Jarl's tomb and get two good pieces of ghost ore. Okay, so we have quite the list of assignments to do from Conrad. All of them being over here. You know, Fort Pinta. Hollow Woods area. So let's head in that direction. I guess we'll go straight to Fort Pinter to check out the new lock. We'll talk to the security guard and then we'll forge, forage, what the heck, uh, collect some ingredients to make our very own horseshoes. Report. The lock is delivered and installed. Excellent. Dismissed. Was that literally everything? Well, okay. Well, let's go collect some materials for horseshoes then.
very good green water that I'm about to put into my horseshoes. This water here looks glorious though. Look how fabulous. Okay. There is the water. Can you feel the power, Cassandra? This wood is glowing with power, Cassandra. Your horseshoes will be even stronger than I expected. Great, Cassandra. Yell's willpower in this powerful ore will help Sky Twin to be more disciplined than any of his four-legged friends. Okay, now, Cassandra, follow my instructions very closely. Sometimes I want you to work the iron. Okay, we literally did this just before. Get off the horse. Maybe this one won't be glitched. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready with my tools. Hit. Yes, this one's not glitch. Okay, this is okay. This is what it's meant to look like. I find it very weird that the doing the exact same things isn't glitched, and yet one of them is glitched. Cool it, cool it. Yes, this is great. I mean, having a glitch quest is always a good laugh, you know. We got to heat a hammer and they were just flying everywhere, floating. What, what's, oh no, oh dear. Floating hot iron thing always a good laugh but it's always also very nice to actually see what it's supposed to look like i have to admit you are a very good apprentice maybe you would like to be a real blacksmith like me someday anyway we'll continue tomorrow the iron needs to set for a day for the horses to be as strong as possible so we have two time quests with Conrad Marsden, which we will probably not come back to the horseshoes tomorrow. I mean, we might do the horseshoes before we head into Golden Hills Valley, but we have time to continue doing maybe one more quest. So I can see one here in Moorland. So let's go check it out. I wonder what it is. It might not be too much of an interesting one. Okay, it's with Tan. What does Tan have to say? Loretta's ghost story? Hi Cassandra, hey, I have to ask you something. Has Loretta talked to you about a ghost that haunts the abandoned farm? Exactly, the one up in Nilma's Highland. Did you know about that already? Maybe she just hasn't had time to talk to you yet, or she just doesn't like me. But you see, the reason I asked is that Loretta and I talked about the ghost before and she told me that place was haunted. Ha ha. Um, I mean, it's not like I believe in ghosts or anything. I mean, who does? Maybe a five-year-old? Haha. <laughs> I totally don't believe in ghosts or anything. Duh. But Loretta said she'd lost her warm riding gloves at the farm. And I promised to get them. Since I don't believe in that kind of ghost stuff. But geez, it just feels so silly. Why should I have to ride up there? Just because she believes in ghosts. Ha. <sighs> You don't look like you have much to do, Cassandra. Can't you ride up there and see if you'll find something? Huh, let me know if you see any ghosts. Um, sure thing. Okay, doing other people's work. Oh yeah, I for some reason I was just gonna like head to the circus or something. I don't know why. Let's search for these gloves. You found nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Still nothing of interest. Can I go inside of the house? Maybe it'll be inside. Is that a thing that happens? Let's just double check. And eh, nope. Not in here. Nothing of interest. A pair of gloves. Oh, thank gosh. Finally. Almost went through the entire farm to find them. Always in the last place you look, am I right? Um, let's just float down this mountain. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Yep. Absolutely perfect. Didn't break any ankles. <laughs> Wait, those are Loretta's gloves. You found them at the farm, you say? Then she was telling the truth. Sorry, Cassandra, was just thinking out loud. Seriously, I don't know what to think. Loretta said she'd lost them here because she was running away from a ghost. I thought she was kidding at first, like she was trying to scare me or something, like I'd fall for something like that. Duh. But at the same time, would Loretta leave her clothes behind? I mean, nobody in their right mind would abandon an item of clothing as long as it wasn't outdated dorky or just generally ugly of course seriously promise not to tell anyone but loretta has been behaving strange lately i don't know how to explain it she's just been strange like all that talk about ghosts or that she didn't want to tag along to yorvik city yesterday cassandra quiet loretta is coming can't you follow her and try to find out what's going on awesome i knew i could count on you is she like 
going on a date with someone or something? I can't remember this quest. Here comes Loretta, riding by, looking all fancy dancy. Follow Loretta without being caught. Okay, well she's just standing still right now. Loretta, you're going so slowly. I think we might be getting too close, so we'll just go at a trot for a second. Okay, she's sped up a bit, so we're gonna have to follow her. Am I being followed? Is this just a conga line? Okay, we're getting too close to Loretta. How does Loretta not see me right now? Who is Loretta meeting with? Let's have a look, shall we? If I get any closer, I'll get caught. Oh. Oh, we can't be too close. Okay, I'm 100% being followed right now. <laughs> oh, she's coming back. Why is she coming back? Okay, okay, no, we can go talk to her. And what exactly are you doing? Do you think I'm stupid or something? You don't think I noticed you followed me the whole way here? You've talked to Tan, haven't you? Admit it, Cassandra? Ha, huh, I knew it. Seriously, you can't tell Tan anything. Promise me? I can only tell you if you promise not to say anything. Thanks. Tan's birthday is coming up soon, and I, as her BFF, am planning a surprise party for her. I got the idea a few days ago when Tan and I were watching a scary movie. It was really scary actually but Tan just thought it was silly and was like dying of laughter because I thought it was scary I was like hello grow up like I can ha I, I can't help being easily frightened but anyway I thought I'd have a bit of fun with her call it revenge but it's a pretty nice kind of revenge if you ask me I thought I'd trick her into thinking the farm up here was abandoned oh did she tell you about that did she seem to believe it she just needs a bit more convincing I thought we'd decorate and make it seem more creepy and ghostly up here when everything's ready we just need to trick Tan into coming up here get her to think it's haunted and then kick off the party I think it'll be awesome don't you so, do you want to help me or do you want to help me? I want to help you. Let's do it. You'll help? Awesome. This is going to be the best party ever. So nice of you to help me. I've done tons of shopping for the party and everything is nearly ready. We're just missing a ghost that Daxton the tailor was going to sew. I probably would have bought something online instead. Feel safer, but Justin has talked about how great he is. And if Justin, if Justin says so, it must be true. Daxton promised me he'd post my order when he was finished, but I haven't gotten it yet. I hope it hasn't gotten stuck somewhere on the way. Can you ride to Silverglade Village and ask Derek if he has the package over there? Then I don't have to wait for the post. Awesome. Okay, to Derek we go. My horse makes such funny sounds. Okay. Whoa, hey there Cassandra, awesome you came. I'm just about to have a total crisis here. Phew, how lucky that it was you who came Cassandra. I'm guessing you're here to pick up Loretta's order. Ugh, I imagine her reaction if she was here now. You have to promise not to tell her anything, but there's been a ton of problems. First, the delivery guy was delayed. Then, he had an accident on the way here. One of his wheels came off and most of the goods in the car fell out. You don't have to worry Cassandra. Nobody got her, but the delivery guy had to take the car to get it fixed. The fabric Daxon was going to use for Loretta's order is presumably lying somewhere along the road. I would have gladly picked up all the parcels, but I couldn't leave the post office unattended. I managed to pick up quite a few, but not all of them. Would you be able to help me gather up all the parcels? Thanks. If we get it done quickly, nobody needs to know anything. So Daxon hasn't even made Loretta's ghost costume thing yet. One package, two package, whoa, big turn here. I've been riding so many Icelandics that it's weird not to do a flying pace. <laughs> Six, and the final package is just over here. Thanks so much, Cassandra. Oh, now I can breathe again. Just a sec, I'll just... There we go, I had to wrap the fabric up into a new parcel as the old one picked up a pretty big hole. Just gotta keep our fingers crossed that the fabric isn't damaged. Could you take this package to Daxton? Thanks, hope he's not too upset about it being late. 
Hey Cassandra, you'll never guess how much bad luck I've had. A package for me? Thanks, I thought my fabric order was gone forever. I didn't even want to think about all the sad and disappointed customers I'd have. But the fabric is here now, so it doesn't matter anyway. Before, I had needles but no fabric. And now when I have the fabric, I can't find my needles. The blacksmith? Like he has time to help me fix new needles. I think he has more important things to do than to help me. And how would I even get there? I can barely be outside without getting a sunstroke, break my legs, or get lost. <sighs> it's not like I can forbid you asking him, but you do know that the road to Moorland is very dangerous, right? It's a wonder anyone survives without tripping over all the rocks and all the stones and falling to their death. Just don't get your hopes up. It just leads to disappointment. But if you think it would help, go ahead and talk to the blacksmith. Back to the blacksmith, they say Conrad Marsden really like holds everyone's lives together. Need a new key? Go to the blacksmith. Need some knitting needles? Go to the blacksmith. And whatever Conrad Marsden has helped us with, I can't even remember, but a ton of stuff. Need anything? Go to Conrad, right? You know, makes sense. Well, fancy seeing you here. Good day to you, Cassandra. How's my favorite rider today? Sewing needles for Daxton, you say? Of course I can make sewing needles. You know I can, Cassandra. It's just that pessimist Daxton who thinks the world is against him. Before I can help you, I have to finish another task. Would you mind gathering some wood for me in the meantime? We need to heat the fire properly to be able to make the best sewing needles. Thank you so much, Cassandra. Please tell me that I don't have to go back to <laughs> back to the hollow woods, okay? The wood is just chilling around here, so I can just easily pick some of these up. Three, four, and five. Thanks for gathering firewood for me. Now we've got enough to get down to business. Now I'm ready. Daxon needs new needles, you say? What does that man actually do with his needles? Does he eat them or what? He needs new ones like every five minutes. In order to make sewing needles of the highest quality, I need your help. Can you help me? Thanks. Can you ride down to the beach and see if you can find any dark your vision amber? If I melt that together with the ore I have, I can create one of the most durable materials in the world. Well... Conrad, Daxton loses them all, so I'm not sure why you're making like this super fancy set of sewing needles to someone who's just gonna lose it again. This is great, Cassandra. Just what we need for Daxton's sewing needles. For some reason, I have to dismount for this. Um, Here we go. Now we have everything. We can start with sewing the needles. Or oh, sewing. M you know what I mean. Mixing all with amber is a very difficult and time-consuming task. You just have to lose your concentration for one tiny moment and you have to start all over again. I have to focus completely when foraging the needles to make them perfect, so it would be great if you could assist me. Thank you so much. I'll tell you what you have to do, just listen carefully. Everything's going to turn out great. Are you ready? I think I'm assisting him. I think I'm just doing it for him. Fetch some wood. Oh, okay. Put the wood on the fire. Grab my special hammer from the hammer box. Put the needle in the water bucket. Ah, there we go. Fetch some wood. Put it in the fire. Um, grab the needle. Give him the needle. There we go. Thanks so much for helping Cassandra. Look at how beautifully the needles turned out. I couldn't have done it without your help. There, have you ever seen such well-made needles? I wouldn't think so. If Daxton isn't satisfied with these, I'll eat my own tools. Haha, <laughs> you don't have to look so horrified, Cassandra. Of course, I'm only kidding around. Could you take these to Daxton so he can continue with his orders? Thanks. Hope you have a nice day. You too, Conrad Marsden. My favorite character in this whole game. Love, Conrad. Okay, let's head back to Silverblade Village. Hopefully this is the end of the quest. Oh no, we still have to go back to Loretta. I'm so sorry if this episode is kind of long. We just kind of got caught up in doing another quest. It was longer than I expected. Oh my, new needles? Who would have thought? Thank you so much. I may as well get started. Well, not that I'll ever get finished. Come back tomorrow and we can see if I finish by then. Conrad, Conrad Marston, hello, hello. Okay, uh, let's do another day of the blacksmithing. Welcome back, Cassandra. Do you remember how we worked yesterday? Today we are going to perform the same task again, but in a different order. All right, so let's back my horse up so that he doesn't get in the way. I can't actually remember his nickname, which is really bad, but okay, let's get started. We did this a lot of times in, I think it was the last episode. It might've been the episode before last. I can't even remember anymore, but uh, heat. Oh, we're heating again, okay. <laughs> That 
we go. This looks promising. Now the metal needs to set overnight again. Then we can continue. But there is something you need to fix right now. The wood you collected is almost gone. Oh my gosh. Listen up, Cassandra. The wood was used up really quickly. We need more. Much, much more. Lots of ancient oak firewood. Ride back to the woods along the Silver Song River's east bank and pick up a dozen of the ancient oak okay so this is a little bit of a detour to our regularly scheduled uh, unlocking of golden hills valley but i'm gonna go ahead and do this quickly and we'll get right into golden hills valley <laughs> Right, fantastic, Cassandra. Let's just hope we don't use up all the wood now. We might need it for other work. But your horseshoes are our priority right now. So uh, then we're going to have to do timer quest. And so that's probably something we're going to do at the start of a couple of episodes. It might be boring work, but it's... What's the saying? It might be boring work, but it's good work or something. I have no idea, but let me just... was annoying me back there. But now, are you guys ready for this? Uh, the key to the city is ready. That's it, Cassandra. The key is ready. We can't be sure it will work, though, as it isn't easy to make an exact copy of a key based only on a picture. The key has frail parts that can break or ruin the lock for good, but that's a risk we have to take. Do I know anything about Golden Hills Valley? Yes, I do, and I'll be happy to tell you about it. Golden Hills Valley is a very special place. It's no myth that snow spirits and other mysterious creatures roam around there during winter. That's why they lock the gate. It's relatively safe at this time of year, but you always need to watch your back. In the eastern part of the valley, there's a small farm that belongs to Justin's grandfather. That's right, old Jasper that you met earlier. In the far western part of the valley lies Cape West Fishing Village. They say there is a very nice stable there on a beautiful island nearby. I've never been there myself, but I'm sure you will make new friends and take part in exciting adventures there. Ooh, uh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Okay, Cassandra, time to start your trip to Golden Hills Valley and good luck. I hope you find the mayor there and find out why the gate wasn't open this year. Remember that we can't be sure that the key will work. It looks good for about three attempts. Come back here if you can't open the gate and be careful. Oh no. Oh no, I feel like something bad is going to happen. But yeah, I just feel like something bad is going to happen because I haven't done this quest in ages. Like in literal years, so I can't remember if we're actually open it, opening it today. I'm very confused by why we have to like open the gate. Like, so what if this key doesn't work? Can't we just get some bolt cutters or like get someone to launch us over the fence or even get a boat and go in by the water? Like, if we really think there's something wrong going on there, we could always like find out ourselves. Also, for some reason, I have decided to ride there. Um, I think I might just get a trailer to the... Oh, I don't have a riding hall trailer yet. Mm. Right, we have arrived at the gate. Let's see, do I have to get off my horse? No, I don't. Unlocking didn't work. Okay, I'm really scared right now. Didn't work. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, you guys ready? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, did it work? Oh my gosh, okay, okay. The Oh, the key broke, but the lock opened. The gate is open and Golden Hills Valley lies open before you? Um, I was not expecting to do this when I came back to Back to the Beginning. I didn't think you could open unlock up uh, at Golden Hills Valley at level 12. Oh my gosh, so I think Jasper has a quest for us over here, but I think that... We have to go talk to... Oh, why can't we talk to the mayor? Oh, okay. So our main quest is Jasper. So I think we're going to talk to Jasper because I want to continue along the main story quest as much as possible. So hello, Jasper. Your pitchfork is floating, but that's fine. Uh, the mystery of the South Iron Gate. We have so many more quests now. If I wasn't overwhelmed before, you want to know why the gate has been locked even after winter was over? 
I wondered about that myself, you know. I've seen all the riders outside the gate who wanted to let their horses stretch their legs here in the Golden Hills Valley. A lot of trailers had to turn back as well. What a mess it's been. But I know who you should talk to about it. Mayor Claus in Cape West Fishing Village. Claus is responsible for the key to the city that opens the gate. You'll find your way there by riding as far west as possible. Follow the Golden Road, but don't ride into Golden Leaf Forest. It is hard to find a way out from the western part of the forest. Okay, thanks Jasper. I mean, I'm just like a little bit knowledgeable of this game, so I think I can go. I should prove my brilliance by going through the forest because I'm so smart. Jasper, I'ma prove you wrong. I'ma go through the forest. So Jasper's telling us to go up and over the bridge, but I'm gonna go down here and under a bridge and through the forest where Jasper told me not to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so weird to be like, woo, just unlocked Golden Hills Valley, but I literally ride through Golden Hills Valley every single day on my training route. But it's super fun to have it on another old account because it means when I'm live streaming with you guys now as well, I can actually on my American account come to Golden Hills Valley if we want to. Even though a lot of the time I don't like to always come into Golden Hills Valley because, you know, there's some of you guys in the live stream which haven't unlocked it yet. But honestly, it's pretty easy to unlock it. Like, I really haven't done many quests, it feels. Oh, wow. I would do anything to go back in time to just relive the feelings of unlocking this place for the first time as a kid as well as like a child unlocking areas in star stable it's so different to unlocking areas as an older teenager now you know man cape rest fishing village needs an update man i really hope they keep all the colorful houses though i really love the vibe of cape west fishing village so i hope that they keep it there's another player. Oh my gosh. All right, here we have Mayor Claus. Hello there, Ryder. You look like you have come a long way. If you need a stable for your horse, you should go to Golden Leaf Stables. It's on the little island north of the village. Just follow the bridge out north. Oh, you came from Silverglade? Really? I bet people over there want to know why the gate has been closed. I'm afraid there is a simple explanation. Let me explain. This is what happened. In winter, I always keep the key to the city in an iron-bound box that I keep under my bed. As you know, we keep the gate locked during winter to keep the winter spirits out of Silverglade and maintain peace and tranquility, as they are actually quite dangerous and frightening. Every spring, we unlock the gate again, but this year, nobody could find the key. Oh my gosh, Mayor Claus, what the heck? One day I noticed that the box had been stolen. The only trace of the thieves were some footprints. Strangely enough, there were only there were only left footprints, no right footprints at all. Very strange. We found the same footprint from a shoe left along the beach, south of the south of the bridge leading to the mainland. We looked for more clues along the beach towards the labyrinth shore, but we didn't find any, and the prints came to an end at the water's edge. It's easy to get lost there, mind you, so it's quite possible we missed something. If you want to give it a shot, be my guest, but I'm afraid you won't find anything. Mayor Claus, you have no faith in me. I am the Cassandra McBell. I can find anything. So interesting doing these quests again. Because as I was reading that, I was like, oh my gosh. I remember what happens now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we have some footprints here, which we are following. And then I think they stopped around here or something at the water's edge. Wait, why couldn't they keep... Oh, did they... I think the footprints stop here. Well, we're gonna keep following the path. Is that it? We don't have to go all the way? Well, I guess we're going back now. I have no idea what we collected. Wait, what did we collect? Is it my inventory? No, it's not. Okay. Wow, that's not bad. That is my chest. But it's been emptied and of course the key to the city is gone. But this shows that the thief may have gone even further away than the labyrinth shore. Maybe you could look down, look further down the beach to see if you can find any more clues. Oh my gosh, we needed like a walkie-talkie or something so I didn't have to ride there and back, man. Alright, so we have made it to the other side of the beach, I suppose, of labyrinth shore. And we're riding towards the green exclamation mark. There is signs of life here. 
in a broken tree branch and oh my gosh a cave oh my gosh bob that's your name right isn't it like bob and rob yes hi guys did you miss me heavens above what's this a little land crab in our secret cave what should we do with you we can't just let you go this is our secret smuggler's cave and we don't want anyone to find it we may be crooks but we're not common kidnappers now little girl why are you sneaking around our little cave who me why are you talking to me I'm a bit lost. I'm spying for Mayor Claus and looking for thieves. I'm looking for the key to the city. I think I'm going to be honest and just say that I'm looking for the key to the city. The key to the city? Do you really think I have that? Yes, I think you have it. No, I don't think you have it. Maybe you do have it. Who knows? I'm still going to play along the fact that I accidentally just stumbled into their cave whilst looking for the key to the city. Ha ha, make up your mind. Give me a good reason not to lock you up in here forever. I think you took the key to the city. I can't come up with a good reason either. I think, okay, I'll just say, I think you took the key to the city. Fine, okay. Are you accusing me of stealing as if I were a common thief? How can you think I have that key? I'm not really sure because you look like a thief because you only have one leg only because I believe it I'm gonna say that one ha huh, billions of blue blistering boiled and barbecued barnacles you have no evidence to back up your lies false accusations but I know you took the key that is true I don't I I have evidence I have your footprints are you accusing me of stealing how can you think that I have the key because you have only one leg. Hmm, the reason there are only left footprints is because I only have one leg. Very clever of you. I'll give you the key and let you go if you agree not to tell anyone about us. Yep, that's fine. There we go, we did it. It's fine. The idea was to steal the key so we could make more money smuggling things from Silverglade during the winter. We make quite a bit of money selling things that are hard to find here during the winter when the gates are closed. I admit it was wrong of us to take the key though, and it's only right the key should be given back to its rightful owner. Here is the key to the city. Now you can give it back to the mayor on the condition that you don't disclose our hideout. Hopefully we won't be seeing each other again, lady. Lady? Okay, Bob. I thought you were kind, Bob. Trying to save you from a shark or something, Bob? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I find it they're terrible thieves if they literally leave their footprints around, right? Anyways, let's head back to Mayor Claus. I wonder what have what what the I wonder what would have happened if we said no. But anyways, Mayor Claus, I have the key. The key at last. Thank you for finding and returning this important key. It is fantastic that the key is back. I am so happy. But can I ask you something? We never managed to find the key ourselves. That made me curious about where you found it. I promised not to tell. Smugglers in the smugglers cave had taken it. I found it a little further down the beach. I think I'm just gonna say I found it a little further down the beach. Quite strange that none of us found it earlier, but thanks to your sharp mind, we finally have a background. Now, that's right. I feel a little bit bad about lying, but the, you know, the smugglers are just trying to make their living or something. I don't know, I don't know. Now I understand what happened, Cassandra. I hope you are enjoying our little fishing village. We are so happy you came to vi 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 visit. Please make yourself at home. Is there a stable here on the coast? Of course there is. Jorvik is full of stables and of course we have one of our own as well. Everyone in Jorvik loves horses and our stable is the best in Golden Hills Valley. Isn't it, isn't it the only one in Golden Hills Valley? It may, oh, it may be the only one but that doesn't matter. We are so proud of the Golden Leaf Stables. If you ride up north, you'll find the pier that we call Long Bridge. If you ride over it, you'll come to the Golden Leaf Stables. Don't forget to say hello to the manager Karen for me. I will indeed. Indeed, let's ride. You know, I think I'm gonna turn the music sound on maybe because I never listen to music now because I add music in my videos and whenever I'm training, I don't want the music because I'm listening to, you know, a movie and you don't want other music playing in the background. Oh, the Star Stable music. This is so sweet. And here we are at the stables. Let's find Karen. Here she is. Hi, Claw says hello. Make sure you say hello back when you see him again. 
So, welcome to Golden Leaf Stables. Welcome to Golden Leaf Stables. We are a small and friendly stable that is open to everyone. Here you can take part in our competitions and help out with daily chores. There's always a lot to do in a stable and all help is greatly appreciated. Of course, you will be paid too. But first, I should tell you a little bit about Golden Leaf Stables. Ooh, background story. Golden Leaf Stables is a very, very old stable that was founded many years ago and was used to breed war horses for the old Jorvik Navy. It's hard to believe, but where the Cape West Fishing Village lies today, there used to be a powerful fort that protected trade ships in the Golden Bay from pirates and other enemies. Things are a little different nowadays. We are a lot more peaceful and love to receive visitors and travelers from near and far. We haven't had too many visitors after the long winter, so any news from the outside world is more than welcome. It's good to know that our stable and the famous Jorvik stables further south are the westernmost stables on Jorvik. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do these quests and then we'll finish up the episode. I need some help, Cassandra. Unfortunately, a lot of garbage has been floating in from the ocean and washed up on our beautiful beaches. Not only is it an eyesore, but it's also dangerous for the horses riding along the beach at full speed. Please help collect the garbage along the beach and come back to me. We'll be happy to pay you for your help. Yeah, pay me a whole 25 Jorvik shillings. What's that about? <laughs> Hang up life, boys. Here on the island, we don't just take care of horses. We also want to make sure that the people feel safe. There are lots of people who like to swim at our beautiful beaches, but the currents are strong and can be treacherous. I have just received the lifebuoys I ordered from Fort Pinta. Can you hang these two on the two bridges at the west side of the island, please? I can do that. It's funny that they talk about, you know, people like swimming on their beaches, but our characters can't even swim in the water around here. Like, we can go foot deep or something. Maybe, maybe it's like waist deep. I don't know. The E button is super helpful for doing some quests like these. Let's hang up a lifebuoy here. Always feels good to do a bit of cleaning up trash from the beaches. It reminds me of uh, Team C's. Is that what it's called, Team C's? In fact, I think I'm going to link the link to Team C's in the description box below if you want to go ahead and donate, even just like a dollar or anything. And if you can't, that's totally understandable. But Team C's is working to clean up the ocean. Um... I, I don't know, you can go ahead and look at their website for all like the technical details, but it's just a super good cause that if you have any money lying around that you feel like donating, you can do that and save the ocean, save the fish and stuff. Save maybe the horses riding along the beach like we just did. I'm not sure that's the only reason we should be caring about uh, rubbish on the beaches, Karen, but... Perfect. Now people can feel safe when they are out swimming in the ocean. Thank you, Cassandra. More and more garbage washes up on the island every day, so I fear this won't be the last time we'll need help with this. Ah, uh, the lost wallet. We can do it. Now I need your help again, Cassandra. Can you help me look for the wallet that you... Is it you are? You are? How do you say that? Lost when she was out inspecting our racetrack. Yua is in charge of our competitions here at the stables, and she would be really happy if someone found her wallet for her. She thinks she lost it in the grove, just north of our paddock. If you find it, please return it to Yua. I have no idea how to say it. Yua. Yua. Why does that blue horse look weird? Do we have a blue horse like that in Star Stable? How do I not even remember? Alright, in the grove. Is this a grove? Is this where it's gonna be? Like in here? Oh, I see it. Well, I see something sparkling at least. Yes. Okay, we found the wallet. Oh, thank you so much. So kind of you. I'm so happy. So, let's talk to Karen again. Is the racetrack usable? Why don't you check with Yua if the racetrack is ready to use? She didn't have enough time to finish inspecting the track as she was busy trying to find her wallet. But now that you found it for her, maybe you can try out the track if you ask her. Awesome, starting off with a race, which is super exciting. Train Mr. Sky Twin to the next level. Sure, Cassandra, the course survived the winter well, but it needs a final inspection before I can open it to the public. Oops, sorry if you guys heard that. Maybe you would like to inspect it for me. You just need to check that there are no dangerous branches sticking out from the jumps and that there is no trash lying around on the track. 
I've marked out where the jumps are on your minimap so you can find them easily. Good luck. Oh, okay, so we're not doing the race. We have to inspect it first. So, oh, I just have to jump over jumps. Okay, that's pretty chill. That's that's pretty fun. Doing the race. This is the no flags race challenge, hey? I've definitely failed the uh, no flags race challenge, but everything is inspected on the racetrack, so let's head back to your. I still have no idea if that's how I'm supposed to say it. So the track was in good shape? Great, then we can try it out soon. I just need to do a quick double check. Alright, so now we have a timer quest here, so we might head back to the main village area and i believe there's a fisherman there which needs our help so everyone's favorite thing to do in star stable is some fishing so let's go ahead and get started what's his name again um oh yes mr k trout i'm here to help you hello there little shrimp i'm mr k trout the best of all the fishermen from anvil bay in the north i'm sure you've heard of me i just moved here because of the fantastic variety of fish in the sea around the village it's a great place for a fishing business so what's your name you little mackerel cassandra a great name for a fisherman this is going to be great Okay, Cassandra, now that you are here in this beautiful fishing village, maybe you can help Mr. K Trout with a few fishing things. I'm thinking that if we work together, it could be very profitable for both of us. So, what do you say? Should we cast our lines together? Excellent, Cassandra. There are lots of things for us to do, and later I can teach you everything there is to know about fishing. If you want, keep talking to me and I'll send you on some fishing assignments. Let's go check my fishing lines. I set out my best fishing rods along the southern bridges where the Jorvik cod runs at this time of year. Can you check the rods and bring any cod you catch up here to me? I can do that. And crayfish business in jeopardy. There is a problem with the crayfish traps. I don't know what's happening, but we're not catching any more crayfish. Please check the traps and make sure everything looks okay. Please bring it over to me if there are any crayfish in it. The traps are placed along the long bridge next to Golden Leaf Stables. Be careful as you will have to ride close to the edge. Um, I find it funny how he's like, oh, you've like never fished before. Okay, can you tell me if something's wrong with my with my fish traps? And I'm like, I don't know what a normal fish trap's meant to look like, sir. Okay, do I have to get off my horse for this? No, okay, that's great. A your vision sturgeon. Is that like a fancy name for a cod? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Ooh, yes, we have to talk to the fairy. So we can actually unlock the fairy. Okay, fresh fishing village, fairy landing. Awesome, you've discovered, discovered a fairy landing. Now I go onto this boat. Um, Dang it, I don't think we can go on the boat. That's actually sad. I'm sad by that. Oh dear, the trap is broken. Oh my gosh, I think all of the traps are broken. That would explain why they're not catching anything. Wow, there were fish on every rod. That's a half dozen fine fish. What? They were broken? That's worse than rotten squid, but it certainly explains why we're not getting any more crayfish. I forgot what kind of voice I was putting on for him. Of course the traps need to be fixed, otherwise there won't be any tasty crayfish in my traps. Pick up the broken traps and take them to the fishing line equipment salesman, Mr. Loop. He runs a shop here in town. It's in the southeast corner of the bridge here. Maybe you could fix my net too while you're at it. It's right here, but I just don't have what it takes to do this kind of work anymore. Mr. Loop does though, that old albatross. Right, so where's this guy? It must be... Oh, we have to pick up the thing. Oh, he's on the other side of the island. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, I'm so... Oh, we have to go pick up all of the traps. And then go to Mr. Loop. Here is Mr... 
Traps to be repaired. Good day. Here we have all sorts of fishing equipment for anyone from experts to beginners. I fix and sell everything to do with fishing. Can I fix the traps for Mr. K Trout? Of course I can. Come back and pick them up tomorrow. Mr. K Trout's net is broken again. Strange. Sure, I'll fix it for him. And they are both timed quests. So it appears that we're finished here in the actual village until tomorrow so let's maybe go I think that's the smugglers cave maybe the smuggler people want to talk to us so let's head back along the beach and see what they have to say stomach growling rub hungry need to eat cake Bob Bob outside in boat where is cake why would I have cake anyways hello Bob Filthy landlubbers! Hello, Cassandra. Great to see you again. You literally said that you never wanted to see me again, Bob. I'm so confused. Rob just ran off and forgot to tie up the boat so I can't get to the shore. Here, take the rope. Nice catch. Tie it around that stump there, Cassandra, so that the boat doesn't float away. Hurry up. I've been out smuggling all night, so I'm really, really hungry. I need to get off this ship quick so Rob doesn't have the time to eat to eat everything we have before I get some food. Um, that's not really a ship, but, you know, I might have to dismount for this. No, I don't. Okay. Why are you in the water? <sighs> this is typical. It's not your fault, Cassandra. It's this cursed wooden leg that I've never learned to balance on. Cassandra, can you help me up? Good. Just, uh, reach out your hand. Wait. The current has got me. I can't swim against the current with this darn wooden leg. Help! I'm being washed out to sea. Rob, help me! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Bob! Bob! Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, Bob's floating away. Rob, what are we gonna do? Yum, yum. Good, good cake. Rob likes cake. Where is Bob? Bob in the water floated away like a little cork. Rob not eat cake now. Stupid cake. Rob find Bob. Where is Bob? You look labyrinth sure. I look here. Okay, we found him. We found him. Puff Puff Cassandra. The current was trying to drag me out to sea, but I managed to use my last strength to swim here. <gasps> I'm completely exhausted. Thank you. Here, just give me your hand. It is going to be so nice to be back on dry land again. I'm going to sit by the fire in the smuggler cave, warm up and drink some tea for at least a week. I hope Rob hasn't eaten all the cakes. Cassandra, stop tickling. What? That isn't you? Help, shark, Cassandra, there's a shark. Help, it's biting my wooden leg. Oh no, it's pulling me out to sea. Save me, Bob. Oh my gosh, Bob. Ah, Bob. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Right, we can see the shark. But where's Bob? Okay, here's Bob. Help, somebody save me from this shark. Help me, Cassandra. The shark will soon figure out only the leg is wood. Cassandra, here, catch Cassandra. Hit the shark on the nose with my wooden leg. Use it like a club. The worst thing for a shark is it to be hit on the nose. Here he comes again. Save me. Why don't we pull him out of the water? Why are we still trying to hurt the shark? Okay, let's come up here on the, oh. Okay, sorry, my bad. When it gets close, we're gonna let go and throw it. Bam! And three, two, one, bam! One final bam, okay. Three, two, one, bam! And I think the shark is going away. You did it, Cassandra. The shark is swimming back out to sea with a red nose. I can't wait to be back on dry land again. Oh, it's going to be so nice to be on dry land again. Finally, wait. Do you hear that, Cassandra? It sounds like a small car or something. Hmm. There are no cars in Golden Hills Valley. Oh no. Not again. Is it a boat? Oh my gosh. The boat literally just was, like drove straight into land. It went directly into this rock here. But I guess we have to uh, once again 
go find our friendly neighborhood Bob. Mugglers? Bah, the worst thing ever. Muggler Bob? Yes, he tried to sneak onto my boat a little while ago, but I wasn't having any of that. I smacked him with a boat hook until he let go. Help, help, he kept saying. Ha, huh, like I was falling for that one. No stowaways on my boat. He wanted help. Bah, I believe that when shrimps grow wings, keep away from those rotten dogs, Cassandra. Yes, yes, if you really must know, he swam away towards Golden Leaf Stables Island. You'll have to look along the beaches there for that old stinky walrus. Oh my gosh, Captain Brass or Bruce, I don't know, but you know. I see some sparkles. Is it Bob? I think it's Bob. Bob! Finally, we got him up. Oh, wonderful, excellent, finally. At last, I have one foot and one wooden leg on dry land again. Thank you, Cassandra. And you're here too, Rob. You better not have eaten all the cakes. The only thing I want to do now is drink tea and eat cake. Bob, Rob happy. Rob very happy. Rob, you doofus. If it hadn't been for Cassandra, I might have been eaten up by that shark. But I forgive you. Just don't let your stomach control you in the future. Now let's go back to our smuggler cave and play games. Drink tea and eat some cake. No more adventures for me. Bob, Bob. Bobbly Bob, Rob happy, Bob gets cake, must hug, Bob, hug, ow, crab, crab bite, toe, ow, oh my gosh, and just like that, the oh my gosh, did he push him back into the water, why is this happening to me, this really isn't my day, what's going to happen this time, go on you darn sea, give me your worst, no sharks, no octopus, no wicked currents? A boring underwater current is taking me out to sea again. It could have been worse, Cassandra. This feels almost like a vacation. We'll see you again soon if you have time to come rescue me one more time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and just like that, he floats away again. Bob gone. Not good. Oh dear, it's a timer quest. Is this when he appears on like the other the other place? Anyways, that's the end of that quest line. Let's see, we have someone to talk to. On the beach at South Sea Acres. I'm not too sure what that is about. Let's go check it out, shall we? So it's not quite on the beach. Like, I, I don't know why I said that. Because it clearly wasn't on the beach. Did it just disappear? Wait, what the heck? move i swear it was on my map and then it just moved wait i'm so confused is it moving see now it looks like it's on the beach yo i think i'm going crazy hello where's the quest okay so it is someone walking along stop stop wait for me thanks for stopping i'm on my way to the fishing village to buy some new clothes but it is just too far to walk i've walked all the way from the baroness riding arena and i'm exhausted can i ride on the back of your horse how do you get over the gap in the bridge thanks a lot could you please drop me off by the clothes store on the southern pier in cape west fishing village let's go oh it's emma okay well, let's go back to the fishing village then. Oh my gosh. Back and forth, back and forth. Yo, oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. All right, here is the clothing store. Well, thanks for the ride. Very kind of you, Cassandra. You must be the best rider in Yorvik. Now I'm going to buy some nice clothes and stuff. See you, Cassandra. Take care. And now Emma also has a timed quest. They're all timed quests. So let's get started. I'm seeing a little, I think Conrad has something to say with me. Now I haven't done this for at least a couple of months, so I can't really remember what's going on. Maybe you guys can remember better than me. I do have a playlist of all of the back to the beginning videos in order, so you can go check that out. But let's go ahead and talk to Conrad. Listen up, Cassandra. Let's continue our work with your horseshoes. You know what to do now. We're going to do the same thing today, but in a different order over and over. Follow my instructions closely. Oh, how fun. Doing horseshoes. Okay. Oh, I have to get off my horse. Oh my gosh. Heat the iron in the forge. 
I feel like my hand is more in the- Oh no, this- this angle is okay. This angle is okay. Before, my hand was more in the fire than the actual stick. I miss doing quests like this. I feel like there's not really any quests like this that we get like new in Star Stable anymore. Like there's no click and drag or anything like that. It's all just you click a button and it's done for you. I miss doing this in new quests in Star Stable. All right, there we go. Well done, now the metal needs to set until tomorrow, then we can start again. We will need more Jorvik iron then and you need to go get it before we can start. Listen up, Cassandra, we need more Jorvik iron for the horseshoes. All right, so I'm kind of zooming through this because we have already done this before, but might as well do it right now. Oh, the animation's not working. That's so sad. I'm just standing here. It's kind of surreal to me. I'm just reflecting on this now because when I first started YouTube, I always wanted to do a Let's Play. I always just wanted to do a Let's Play of the full game for you guys, mainly because I watched, um, is it Stacy Plays? No, Stacy Place. But I was really, I loved her Let's Play video, so I was like, I always want to do a Let's Play when I'm, when I'm, I want to do a successful, you know, Let's Play, and just play the game. And the fact that I can now, for at least, you know, some of you guys, so I get comments, like, every week, and they're like, hey, I really love Back at the Beginning, are you doing it again? And it just warms my heart that I get to, you know, make Child Me happy, and I get to do a Let's Play series that... You know, actually did really well on my channel, and even though, like, every new episode doesn't get the same, like, 50k views or whatever, you guys still really enjoy it, and that's just really bittersweet to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that is a daily quest thing. Let's head over, hmm, Cape West Fishing Village. Let's go to Cape West Fishing Village, and oh, actually, do we have any main quests? Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to go to the riding arena. I remember, I remember. I said in the last video that we're gonna be at the riding arena. And then I forgot, because it's been so long. It's been months, I think. <sighs> it's main story time, baby. Oh my god. Oh, she's facing the wrong way. Hey, Alex. I thought I would you... Ugh. I thought I would find you around here somewhere. We've had a bit of a breakthrough in our re in our search for Justin. I can't read today. Why am I doing this? Mario from the Astronomical and Archaeological Society. Archaeol I said that right, didn't I? In Jorvik. You know, was lucky enough to pick up a radio message when he was working with his radio equipment. Tell me when you're ready to listen, because this is very important, and I want you to listen carefully. I am ready. Ears are peeled. The fact is that the message was strange, and Mario didn't pick up everything, but he thinks that the message was about Dark Horse shipping Justin's horse to some beach near here. The horse will be received by someone called the Dark Rider Malumi, or something like that. I have my suspicions about who might be using that code name. Apparently this Dark Rider will be transporting the horse to some place in Golden Hills Valley. Justin's horse is going to be picked up at the beach. We need to follow the Dark Rider to see where they are taking Justin's horse. It's time. I will watch the South Iron Gate from here. I thought you could watch the Southern Beach in Golden Hills Valley just down from the broken bridge that goes over the ravine and connects to the beach with Golden Leaf Forest. I've marked the place on your map. We've sent some other friends to other locations on the Golden Road and around the Labyrinth Shore so that no Dark Rider will be able to get past us unnoticed. Hurry to your post now, Cassandra, and watch out. This is for real. It's not a game. Oh my gosh, I'm not playing a game. I'm not playing Star Stable anymore. This is real life. Oh my gosh. I'm so slow. <laughs> this must be the place Alex meant. There is a good overview of the whole beach from here, and the bushes make for a good hiding place. What bushes? Do you mean barrels? Time to hide and wait and see what happens. Even if I don't see the Dark Rider, the others will let me know if they see anything. Waiting. Oh yes, no one's gonna see me on my horse behind here completely. Can I take a picture? No, I can't. I can't take a picture. I wanted to take a thumbnail picture. Hiding in them bushes be like... Oh my gosh, we're fading to black. Something's about to happen. Ooh, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. I remember this cutscene. Isn't it the person in red or something? Oh my gosh, it is. Look at them walk. Oh my gosh! Doing this Let's Play series takes me back to 2014! <laughs> That's when I got Star Rider and I got to continue all the quests like this one. Oh yes, yeah, strutted. He is literally doing a model walk. That is such a model. You should stop being a Dark Rider and purely become a model. Like, look at you. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Pure silence. Maybe I should turn the music on. This is very awkward. <gasps> I think they saw me. Did they see me? Look at that. What's it called? A dolly? No, it's a, it's a, oh my gosh. No. 
It's a specific zoom out on an angle. I my film brain is failing me. I'm gonna turn the music on really quick though. Really quick though. There's no music playing. No doubt it was Justin's horse that was handed over to the Dark Rider. I have to follow them. I have to follow them do. Oh. To see where they are going. I can't get too close or they'll see me and I can't stay too far behind or I will lose track of the Dark Rider. Oh, we're doing one of those things. Okay. Attention. Follow the Dark Rider. Don't ride too close. Is this like too close? Too far away? I think this is a good, good spacing. Good spacing. Like dressage, like dressage. <laughs> This is not dressage spacing. Can I take a picture now? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, perfect. The music makes me want to cry because it's so nostalgic. Ah! Oh my gosh, they sped up. Oh, speedy boy. <laughs> it's so scary. It's like, duh. <laughs> oh my gosh, are we about to unlock Pie the Witch's place? <gasps> the wolves chase you and your horse away from their territory. Oh, is that something that happens? Is this part of the quest? Oh gosh, I didn't. Wait. Since when did the wolves chase you away? I'm deeply saddened right now. That was, This is going to take me so... Oh my gosh. I didn't know the wolves chased you away. I thought they just barked at you. <laughs> barked? Uh, you know what I mean? Do I have to do that whole quest line again? Okay, let's go. Doing this again. Speed it up. No! No! Ah. No! I'm 18 years old. How did I do this as an eight year old? <laughs> ah! I don't understand how I meant to get past the wolves. How do you play this game anymore? This is not a child game. I have to do it again. It takes me so long. <laughs> My computer ran out of space, but we're back. I think I'm doing it. 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 Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh, I'm very close right now. Okay. Let's just come over by these rocks, you know, hide behind the rocks. I think they're gonna go through the gate. <gasps> oh my gosh, they unlocked the gate. And they opened it. Why does this gate need two lanterns on it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it closed behind them. How am I meant to get inside? Oh no. Our gate. It's closed. The Dark Rider vanished along the road after the North Iron Gate. The, no the Iron Gate is closed and locked. You can't get through. Write to Alex at South Iron Gate and tell her what you saw. Alex. Oh my gosh, Alex. See, the wolves don't like upset me when I ride past now. It must have just been in... No, they do. What? Why? Do we like become friends with them later on? I swear on my main account, the wolves don't get mad at me. Oh my gosh. It must just be part of a quest which I don't remember. Whoa. That makes me feel so old. Alex, Alex, I saw someone. I saw someone. You saw the Dark Rider? Tell me what you saw, Cassandra. Okay, Cassandra, well done. So the Dark Rider took Justin's horse past the North Iron Gate. But what and who is there? Why are you taking Justin's horse there? These are questions we'll never know the answer to if we can't get past that gate somehow. Any suggestions? Hmm, you think we should ask old man Jasper if he has any idea of what's hiding behind the gate? And if he doesn't know how to get past it, we can ask Mayor Claus for the key to the city. Good thinking. Jasper lives right next to here. I'll see you at his place. Okay, I thought she was like gonna ride off in the other direction and I was like, Alex, where are we going? Hi, am I meant to be talking to you right now? Does Jasper know something? Oh, do we have to wait for Alex to come by? Okay, Alex, hurry up! Alex, just run through the pumpkins, it's fine! Jasper has not been holding his shovel for so long. It's disappointing. Welcome, Alex, you took your sweet time. And you're turning the wrong way as well. You gotta look at Jasper. 
You want to know what's behind the North Iron Gate? Well, youngsters, it's been a long, long time since I've been there, but I'll do my best. It's no use. It was over 20 years ago that I last set foot past the North Iron Gate. They always open in spring, just like the South Gate, if my memory serves me right. But from what I've heard, they locked it up years ago and it hasn't been open since. Strange, but true. But let's see, the area past the gate. That was a nice area, let me tell ya. Let's see, there was a forest and a beautiful summer house. A road that led up to an old fort. It was very impressive. The summer house was owned by Mayor Claus and his adorable wife. Why are you calling Mayor Claus's wife adorable? Um, now that I'm older reading this questline, I'm a little concerned. I can't remember her name. You just remember that she was adorable? I'm okay, okay, okay. Oh, maybe Star Stable didn't mean it like that. It was a wonderful time. I remember us eating pumpkin ice cream on the porch in the summer. Ew, pumpkin ice cream? Interesting. Alex, you're still not looking at Jasper. Okay, it seems like someone is living past the North Line Yate and maybe in the mayor's old summer house. We have lots to do, Cassandra. Right over to Cape West Fishing Village and speak with Claus. Ask him about his summer house and about his wife. Also, ask to borrow the key to the city so we can open the North Line Gate. I'll watch the gate to see if the Dark Rider or anyone else comes out or if anyone else goes through. For that matter, I'll see you there later. Okay, dokie. Mayor Claus, I see you want to know about my summer house and about my wife. You know what? I just remembered something I have to do. I also suddenly can't remember anything. At I can't remember in anything at all. Gotta run, folks. Tata. No, at least give me the key. Give me the key. Hunt down. Oh my gosh! Wow, that was so difficult. You caught me, Cassandra. How silly of me to think I could just outrun you and your horse. I certainly can't outrun my past. Oh well, you can't hide from your past, so I might as well tell you about everything. My wife and I were so happy together and we had a wonderful summer house at a mountain lake beyond the North Iron Gate. But my wife became interested in all sorts of hocus pocus type of things and she began to brew strange witch potions. I was really worried about her. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. The witch is Maya Claus's wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Finally, one day I, I returned to find our beautiful mountain lake had turned into a dark swamp and my wife had turned into an evil witch. There was nothing more I could do for her until this day she's completely lost in her world of potions and witchcraft. It breaks my heart. So you want to meet her? I don't think she will listen to a word you say, my friend. My dear wife is gone and that witch is all that remains. It breaks my heart just to think about it. But obviously I won't stand in your way if you want to try. You have helped me and my village a great deal already, so of course I will do my best to help you in any way I can. Here is the key to the city. With this key, you can unlock the North Iron Gate. Good luck now, if you do meet my darling wife. Please tell her I still love her and she is always welcome home. Ooh, secret quest, secret quest. It's a rock. No, it's dirt. We'll come back to that in a later episode. Unless I forget. Ah, uh, see, I missed this. We get to drag the key. We never get to drag anything in Star Stable anymore. That was really loud. Wouldn't they have heard that? Yes, it worked. I can give the key. I can give the key key back to Claws later. I have some things to take care of in the fishing village, anyways. Okay then, ride off and try to find the witch. I agree with you that the witch and the dark rider probably have some really bad intentions for Justin's poor horse. I'm aware she can help us find Justin, but be careful. I'll keep watching the gate, and I'll be here if you need any help. All right, let's go in. Let's go into the creepy, creepy darkness. Oh my gosh, down into the deep dark, down deep down. I really would have liked to see this place with its beautiful river and the lake house, but apparently we can't, it's fine. I'll survive. This part is always the worst. Like, when's it going to appear? There we go. Otherwise, I don't know when to jump. Like, this place would have been very pretty, I believe. <gasps> oh my gosh, Justin's horse is up in the air. Ha ha ha, abracadabra! You think you can just walk in here and get me to talk at your command? Ha ha ha, aren't you the funny one? I think I'll transform you and your silly horse to teach you a lesson. <gasps> oh no, no, oh my gosh, we've turned into a frog! Oh my gosh, my poor horse! Okay, but seriously, I would love to have a horse broomstick to ride like imagine buying a horse that is a broomstick horse i i like that idea the spell is broken it's obvious that pie is not in the mood for talking so i guess we go back and talk to uh, alex a real nasty witch you would turn into a frog oops lucky for you it wasn't for very long so, the maze wife is actually the witch, Pi, and obviously not at all willing to cooperate. She's keeping Justin's horse in a big cage. Hmm. We have to do something. 
Linda is smart, well read, and is in the area over by the equestrian center. Write over to Linda and ask her for some suggestions on what to do. I'll keep watching the gate so nobody can sneak in and take Justin's horse or anything. So, where'd the Dark Rider though go though? Is the Dark Rider still in there? Because obviously we didn't see the Dark Rider come out. I suppose Alex didn't see the Dark Rider come out. Was she like in the house or something? Are we going to be tattletailed one or something? Oh my gosh, it's Linda. Linda, hello. Hey Cassandra, are you headed to the Equestrian Festival? Wait, what? Oh my, there's two Lindas. Ah! Why is Linda here? I'm so confused. This isn't my home stable. Why is... Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Hello, Cassandra. I have a lot going on right now, but if you say it is... If it, you say it is really important, I will absolutely help out. That's what friends are for. Okay, I understand. You need a way to get that witch, Pi, to see you. Poor Claw's having a wife who has turned into a witch. I hope we can find a way to restore Pi to that nice lady she used to be. Well, I don't know. I think we'll have to do some research on this one, and that means the library. The vineyard has a fantastic library. I spent many hours with my nose buried in those exciting books. Come on, let's go right now. Okay, let's go. Should I, like, walk with you, Linda? Here, I'll walk with you. Or, like, jog next to you. Because you're, like, you're a really fast walker. Too slow for my running. Look how fancy these doors are. Oh my gosh, in the library. I like the library. It's cool on here. What do you think? Pretty amazing, right? A really good library, full of the collected knowledge from centuries past. You can almost feel the books bragging to each other about all their wisdom and plotting on how to force this information into your mind. So much to read, so little time. We need to find the right books to find the answer of how to turn the witch back into her old kind self. Or at least get her to tell you the truth. I'll sit here and look through the witch witch co witchopedia. <laughs> first. Search the library for books about witches and if you find any, bring them over here. -da 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 -da. Looking for some witch books. Witch books. Witch books. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh my gosh. Se ah, se seven. Eight. Oh my gosh, I can face through these sh chairs. Can I face through Linda? No, I can't. Okay. Nice find. Now we have a pile of exciting books about witches that we need to plow through. This is going to take a while. You can help me with these books. Let's look for information on how to make witches more cooperative. Here, sit down and read these four books. Okie dokie. Reading. Yo, the book actually opens. That's amazing. Two. Whoops. Three. And four. Oh my gosh, there's a giant star in the ceiling that I could not see. I'm so blind. Let's grab it. Thank you for your help. You did find some useful information, but we need more. Oh, and it's a timed quest. Well, I think that's going to end this Let's Play episode for today. In the next one, we'll probably continue off with Linda and uh, see where it goes from there. So, oh my, I can't get a good angle for this outro. So, let me know if you like the Let's Plays. I don't know. But we're making some good progress in the main quest. We have a ton of side quests to complete, though. Look at all these quests. That's a lot of chatter. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.